going at it. Like a, a bear on Christmas. Sticking with it. What's up, Z? What's up, Lauded? We got Nyasha, Bradley, Gorima. What's up, guys? Hello to everybody. I just loaded in. Let me go grab some. Grab my pill. <laughs> yes, you are. Now stop. So, to recap here, here's what happened. Went down. We cleared out the goblin camp in one of the most dramatic fashions possible. So what I think what we might do right now is go back to the goblin camp and try and piecemeal kill our way through it. Um, it, it we do want to try to get to level 5 because level 5 is going to give us a really huge spike in almost all of our characters everything. Uh, they're going to just get way stronger right level five the monk is going to get its extra attack same thing with karlak um it, we just want to really get that on, online as fast as possible uh, just... i'm probably gonna have to start selling a lot of this when the wearer dashes or takes so momentum is nice the water sparkers are probably better just for the off chance that we get um I'll put those on her. Come on, let's go. Of course, Jay, wherever you want to go, baby. It's your anniversary, Snooky, Snooky Bottoms, Sugar Pussy, a Animal Crackies. C come, come, Shabum. <laughs> this is your favorite nickname you've always told me. You always love being called Come, come, Shabum. Bernard the robot drops. Uh, I don't know which glaive it is. I've never used it actually. In search of the night song. We all know who the night song is. It's a camp. These things have stayed interesting. There's one thing I love. If I love, there's one thing I know about women. They love being called sugar pussy. Can't do stone non constructs. That's pretty cool actually. Darian. I'm going to consolidate everything here. And if you have any questions, guys, by all means, even if it's just like a hey, general, like, hey, my, my, in my build, I don't know what to do with this. The food ask away. A steadfast yeah. supporter. Damn, it's good to be alive. What a day. No time to rest. <clears throat> Always down to help. Over there. Here do you have him? Bazel doesn't have really anything. She just has the sparkle hands, really. She's wearing this helmet because start of the combat the wear gains momentum. That'll give her a little bit of an increase there. Um, and we also have the water sparkers. She's not really getting any benefit of the poisoner's robe. It's just a cooler robe than the generic robe. And she has the spurred band. So you don't really get any good stuff from her until... A wise decision. Oh. Yeah, we're not... They were not perfect. That doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> we don't get any cool stuff until... Uh, the beginning of the Underdark. Okay. 
Let's try and sell some wares. Another loyal devotee. Thank you guys very much for following me over here. And Jay, by the way, thank you very much. Oh, did you do that? You gave out two community subs and you resubbed up with Prime, dude. Thank you so much, man. I didn't even see those. What pact is your warlock? Warlock is only level two. So the warlock gets nothing from the pact. <laughs> a, a, a rumor about us YouTube streamers. We exist far and wide. Uh, we're here, man. But I, I also... Uh, we're here. Uh, stream on Twitch. So if you want, you can switch on. Make the switch to Twitch. Um, if you want to kind of help support the channel a little bit, by all means, make that switch there, bros. There we go. Everyone's good. Oh, my head is hurting me. You saved us. Why'd you kill the gnolls in the second How part of this and get the I get that live now email? I'm so torn. Well, you can jump over here, Boone, and then watch that later. Hello. That way you can ask Hello. questions, kind of Double see what's coming. T. There's definitely an event that happens in last stream that's really worth watching, but I put it on a I, I clipped it and it, it's on the channel as a short. Uh Pro uh, Link. Thank you very much Double for subbing up, my dude. Yeah, I, I guess that's worth noting, guys, here. Um, I wish I had better. Prime sub, or not prime subs, subs are 25% off on uh, Twitch right now. And if you buy bits, Twitch will not reimburse, but like if you bought a thousand bits, Twitch will throw in 10% extra for free. So if you want to support the channel, by all means, do not feel compelled by any stretch of the imagination, though. Okay. He has not replenished his goodies. So, may Timor's luck twist your way. We can just hold on to all. What build are you using for this playthrough? Um, it should be in the comments. Or set, uh, what are they called? I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna put that. In, I'm gonna put that in the what's it called? Shit, man, my brain can't work. Description. Um, cloud bot. The, the, I have a command for it, but it's just not working for some reason. This. Here is the build. Here are the builds that I'm running. Let me go, let me go ahead and add it in here. There we go. I've updated the party comp thing into the description for YouTube, so it's always there for you, bros. Um, let me catch back up. Uh, thank you for your fantastic build guides on YouTube. Absolutely, man. Thank you for watching. I was asking YouTube comments, but is there a way to have staff from Auntie equipped and still attack unarmed? I want that buff with the monk and do an, and do an unarmed attack. So, if you want to do that, Action, not reaction. you would simply use the staff, and then the staff will trigger your unarmed strike bonus action that you can then use. Um, you can't use the staff and use your fists. But the staff will count as your fists for most of the things that are monks related to like the latter portions of it. Um, it looks like we can't sell a demon yet. Uh, he doesn't replenish the stock for some time. Uh, don't we need to do... Soldier, excuse. You saved us. I wasn't... Oh, okay. It's... it's... It's later. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna steal the idol. Meet House in the Emerald Grove. Okay. Don't waste a step. So I think, I think what we go. Oh, it, high levels are really tough. Depends on what you're multiclassing, Evan. Um, I've multiclassed everyone that I wanted to multiclass because they actually get quite a bit of utility out of it. 
I do darkness, but I really don't want to do it. I don't want to make anyone mad and have it shut off for me so I can't use them in. Joe, what's up, man? Joe316. Thank you very much for watching, brother. I mean, there's like no one here. In the shadows. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place forever. Instead, I shall listen yeah, to the Carl, explanation. Yeah, Carl, I that did the same thing. Me. An error, most grave master. Grace is bestowed by you. Will stay as a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids. The natural. We are sixty-two percent of the way into our hype train, bros. With a minute left, there's a new hype train going on here for the so holiday season. So if you have. So Prime sub, done, bits, whatever that kind of action is. Go ahead and do that deed. <clears throat> she shows great insolence. But time will humble her. I got that one, uh, Adrian. Adrian. You will soon see There's this deep masterwork. Keep up. But Thank you, Fabian. That Appreciate now. that, man. I owe you my thanks. The grove stands. Nature prevails. Yes, it works. And again, I am in. Uh, I'll show you what I'm doing with that, uh, Waltram. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. What about my problem? I need help. The journey to <clears throat> Moonrise Towers, but that's. Hey. Huh, you know, I shouldn't have talked to him. Okay, do I do I really do this this idol? Will will it piss anyone off? Like, what's the deal with the idol of Sylvanas here, guys? Because I've never done it. Um, so Walt Walt to ask your question to answer your question here. I'm using this bow, the hunting short bow on Karlak, and I'm using Gandril's Aspiration, which has the same thing, Feller of Monsters. And they both give them advantages. <clears throat> Don't piss me off. Why don't you come the fuck down, Rachel? <clears throat> I already solved the Kaga mystery, Carl. I'm actually a hundred percent done with the, the the healing with the Emerald Grove now. <laughs> Cast darkness around it, stealth, and run the fuck away. Cloud, that chest, like like put a chest down. You're saying? I don't really want to steal it. I I'm fine with being like, I don't know, ambiguously chaotic. But but then I'm like, oh. Man. I have something to ask. You've done it. You brought House in back. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. As am I. Let me show you on your map where you can find the cache. Place it among the pedestal. Okay, let me show you on the map. It's in that doorway. You know, like. <laughs> I think we got an ad coming up here, so if an ad runs on Twitch, just let me know. And as always, guys, I'll I won't say anything pertinent in the meantime. A parasite brimming with magic. Take it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What beef pee? Uh, maybe I maybe I gotta stop being such a mamby pamby, and I gotta just do this. I have found like that. Uh, yeah, there's this item. The Smuggler's Ring, which is on a skeleton. Uh... Oh, shit. Fuck my ass. Fuck my ass. It's on a skeleton right over here. 
Like, if this is the Blighted Village, there's a skeleton in the bushes right over here. I didn't mean to do that. But I've just caught up with your last stream of VOD and saw what happened to Minthara, and that was con that was content. Dude, I and and you saw that I was not like, oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be funny and clever. I was oh shit, fuck. Because I was like, let me start the fight. Let me just hit her. If I hit her, then I'll start the fight, then I can knock her out. But it's <laughs> just womp that bridge, man. Well, Druid's all about, you know, forgiveness and stuff. Druids are very weird. Uh, they're one of my favorite uh, classes, actually. Uh, the first, like, real D&D &D anything ever quest is, is loosely based off of D&D. &D. Uh, was a Druid. I made a Druid character. And I've always really liked Druids, but I just don't... There's something about the way Druids are written in... In this series, that just doesn't, it never really clicks with me. Never really clicks with me. What's up, Chrissy? How you doing? Snob hippies. <laughs> well, they're always kind of dickish, you know, like. Like, Jahira is different in this game than she is in 2. In 2, she's kind of like Lazel's character. She's very gruff and abrasive. No, she's like that. Nat. I got, I got you, Darth. Thanks, dude. Um, she's like that though in like Baldur's Gate One too. Yeah, the Kikadilla. Might be useful. Uh oh, I forgot to get I forgot to do the uh the thing with the owlbear cub. Oh no, little buddy. It's okay, it doesn't ever come into fruition with anything. It's just kind of a cool thing to have, right? But Still. I mean, that's like free money. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not doubting that. But the, all the other druids in Baldur's Gate 2 are, are kind of dickheads, too. That's my, my point. Like, any point in seeing the idol besides the starting the fight? So this is what we're actually talking about right now, Brathan, is... Dealing with that idol right now to get a ring. There's a ring you get from it that gives you plus one AC and plus one to on all saves. It's actually a pretty good ring. Um, I just hate doing it. So we're going to try to pull it off using some wily ways. You know, I, does anyone ever use this thing? Can just send it straight to camp? No. Beautiful glade. So why is touching it give me a knot in my stomach? I don't know. Uh, this is actually good to put on lazy. Yep, 
yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take care of it right now. So you'll be able to. You should find how we deal with it. Oh, that's a cool fucking robe. I've never actually put that robe on. The, the robe of ice is really sick. That is sick looking. We've already... Don't bring up Minty, dude. He's dead. And I didn't mean for it to happen. A resplendent offering. Thank you very much, Boon Man Man. I just did a thousand bit donation here. Very kind of you, bro. Very kind of you. And like I was saying, Twitch is kicking like 10% of that back for free. And sometimes they'll do like an extra 5% randomly. So thank you very much, dude. So a thousand from Boon Man Man with an extra 150 from Twitch. Uh, also remember... Twitch subs are like 25% off right now. If you're watching on YouTube, make that switch to Twitch. There's a behind treasure room? Oh, man. Well, we can go up. No, I don't think we can actually. Look at you, you fancy bitch. Efficiency in nature and animal handling. I don't know. Russian watcher and back in the hundreds. My gill rocked it for quite a while. What's up, Zyfe? 1500, man. It's the end of the uh, Rurika dynasty. It's in the treasure room? Okay, I've already done the treasure room. Joe, 316k. Thank you for stepping up with Prime, my man. Okay, so we've got a Starion. So what's the trick trickman do here? Some of you were saying, take the idol, put the idol in here, and then immediately, like, basically the way to do this is enter turn-based mode. Another loyal devotee. Fabster360, thank you for subbing up with Prime as well, man. <clears throat> I don't think I have a darkness spell. Elixir of Dark Vision, Arrow of Darkness. I think you said. No. I don't think I have fog either. Arrow should work. <laughs> I don't like that. Anything for a Python. Thank you, Braton. Or thank you, Fratello. Oh, God. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't see a fog thingy. Why are you sneaking around? I do have a potion of invisibility. Oh, maybe I don't actually. I don't. Do a storm surface. It is really cool, actually. Where's those darkness arrows? So, I'm going to shoot this with this arrow. It's going to cost darkness. Or do I shoot the ground? Like right, like right here? Or do I shoot right here? So let's enter turn-based mode maybe first, yeah? Done. 
we're doing this. This is not going to incur any wrath, so. Yeah, let's, do, let's make sure, for sure. Arrow of Darkness. It's not really... It's not really doing it. Who sells scrolls up in this bitch? I don't have cloud or fog cloud. You know who might have it is Gale. Level one wizard. Uh, maybe go grab Gale real quick. I'm good. How are you doing, Sneaky? Okay, okay, okay. Jaeger, you said you tried it on honor. So how did you do it? Let's let's put. I'm still alive. So that's progress. What path lies before me? Something's on my mind. Speak. Are you sure that's the best course of action? Confirm. I have a hundred gold, yes. I'm pretty sure Gil has it though too. Go ahead. I'm listening. Wait. Yeah, he does. Cool. I mean, I can give the Misty Step amulet here to Asterion and have him Misty Step away. I did it with Fog Cloud and same method. Okay, so here, here's what we're doing. We're doing a Fog Cloud here. We're doing Fog Cloud right there. Move to chest inventory. Wait, wait, what is move to chest inventory, Boon Man Man? Fog Cloud on top? Are we saying like, cast around with the idol? Let's do this. God, my head is long, this lasts for 10 turns? Oh. Can I cast Fog Cloud and go to camp? Let's find out. Bro, so I don't think that worked. Let's level him up a bit. Now I've got darkness. That, that's what I was looking to get. Is just let me go up darkness really quick. Oh, 
I have now darkness and everything else. Okay. Uh, we'll get there. Okay, so now we've got darkness and fog cloud. Let's try fog cloud right here at Asterion's feet. Can you do that? Is this considered a hostile act to use darkness? I'm just going to do this. He's blinded him. I mean, is that what we wanted? It doesn't look... Is that really perfect? Because it doesn't look perfect. It looks kind of not good. Is this what we want? Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Oh, uh, no. They can see the idol, see? Yeah, it's got eyes on it. Affects a larger area at higher levels. Okay, let's try that. Let's try, like, back here. Fog cloud. No, nope, still has it, see? Weird. I know I'm out. Let me see if we can do this. at this time. Right? You guys think we're good to go? Oops. Time for a word. Just like time. I'm just taking this, right? And then I teleport. I'm going to left click steal. Immediately press M and immediately teleport. Right, 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 right. Druids will not stand by while you abscond with their idol. Your next move will decide your fate. I, I couldn't. You are forgiven. Oh, well. I did. I, I, I was stealth. I pressed stealth and pickpocket. Well, it's not really that big of a deal. It's it's a single AC point. I think it's more fun than anything to try it. Can't give up now. Light on my feet. I'm not about to fuck that whole thing up now. I've already fucked up one big thing in this playthrough. How can I help? I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Double mint and gum. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. Uh, where's Bay? Where's Bayzel? Oh my leg. Speak. Oh. It is done. 
Okay. And let's talk to Volo. Uh, quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just not yet, I'm afraid. But my expectations are very We just have to do the uh the long rest. That will kind of set every, reset everything, you know what I mean? Uh, we got enough skill point or points here to try and Yeah, we, we already have uh, the tieflings all set and alive. Yeah, we don't want to make we do want to make sure we don't fuck any of that up for sure. Um Just finished. Just got here. What did you just finish? We we were trying to do the the emerald idol, or the steal the bla the the idol, the idol from the uh, druid grove, for the ring of protection. So what I'm thinking is maybe now we fight our way through the camp, rather than teleporting in and dealing with that fucking wild shit. We fight our way through, get the experience because I'd like to get level five here today. I think level five is going to be a, a strong bump in our characters across the board. Um, what do you guys think? The bonus is idle. Thank you. We killed this. Uh, so just just so just to kind of tell people what we've done, we've completed the Emble Grove in favor of the Tieflings, and we've killed the Goblin leaders. We've done the Spider. We've done the tier. We've done the Paladins of Tier. We've killed all the Knolls, and we did Joaquin's Rest. So the last thing to do, last things to do, are the Sunlit Wetlands over here, the Riverside Tea. Oh, we also did this area too with the with the Wodes. Uh, we have to do Anti Ethel. We have to do the Underdark, and we have to do the Mountain Pass. Red caps can be pretty gnarly, dude. Let's go Two, yeah, all this is super low level. No, I did not. I'm in. Poison wine? Oh no, I don't want to do that route. I want I want experience, so let's come over here. It's not. Then in that case. Should have seen how our how our experience with that went. It was wild. Um, let's get everything kind of get Mama Car up. No surrender. She is a very interesting character, actually. You know what? We're gonna go with the frenzy here. No, we're not gonna go with the frenzy here. We'll go with the frenzy. Oh shit! There's a little shit up here. I don't want to waste the frenzy on these little ones because this is going to be a kind of an easier pack to deal with. Good idea, Carla. Oh, good thank God. I was like, come back, come back. <laughs> Damn, we didn't kill. Well, so much for peace. Let's waste this then. Oof. How do you get the frenzy? Uh, that's just simply being a berserker. <laughs> the 
There's one behind the group, you're saying? Oh, behind this group. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. Yeah, I can't get to him, unfortunately. If they if they summon reinforcements, it's no big deal. Dude, that that's double hiding success. That's wild. I didn't think that'd happen. Oh, he he killed it eventually though. All right, boom, man, man. Thanks for thanks again, man. Very much appreciated, brother. For your generous donation. Color spread these bitches. Let's go ahead. Let me just take care of this. Let's shoot that here. Damn. I, want, I, was, I wanted to do this. Probably still worth it, though. Um, yeah, because I wanted to make sure that thing's about, like, one hit away. Uh, okay, I see. That's not terrible. I'm doing the Forge boss or anti-Ethel next. I think Ethel will be easier. Um, I really couldn't tell you, dude. It, it's it all scares me to be honest. This is gonna feel good. Here, where is this? Bees. Let's highlight it all right. Oh, damn it, dude. You idiot. What? He's like you idiot, like like I wasn't supposed to kill this thing. So what I'm going to do actually is, you know what, no I'm not. Oh shit, maybe I should have, Jesus, nine damage? That little shit. Okay, so I guess he'll do the same thing, huh? Follow Rachel for more hot clits. That's it. Oh my god, dude. What is up, Luna? I've got it. Oh, I can't even catch my breath. The alley you. worked out swimmingly. Now give her a little blade ward. And let's punch some puppies. Uh, we don't really need one. Uh, Mr. Strimmer is good. He's over here punching dogs. We all could have hoped to aspire to do in our lives. Oh! That's why I have a fucking cleric in the group. <laughs> now, this is my happy place. Come here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That makes sense. Why would you? Why? Yeah, for sure. Did you like the knowing? I don't think I saw it. Uh, no one really likes cat block. Thank you. I'm gonna take this call off. I hear you, Spidget. I hear you. Or all your. There you go. Best be on my way. Yeah, basically that's that's what it kind of comes down to is from a min max perspective. You always want to kill something over healing someone in your party. Because keeping something alive to have a whole nother round of combat is quote unquote not min max. But Honestly, dude, like, I'm gonna... So, uh, the next build video I'm gonna make is... The best healer in Baldur's Gate 3. And it's gonna be a 6 lore bard, 6 life cleric. And you'll hit... you get a ton of healing out. Part of me wants to squeeze a level. Let me see if I can do it. BG3 wiki. Into Paladin. Into Ancient's Paladin, but then you have to deal with the Oath. Uh, actually, I actually don't like that. But so life, uh, so life is at six for Blessed Healer. BG, and you need uh, yes, yeah, so you you really can't. I can't remember what Ancient's thing is off of. Channel Oath is off a uh, Paladin level. Okay, that's not worth it then. Never mind. It's not worth it. Because it's a proficiency bonus plus power level plus charisma modifier. So we're not focusing on those things, so it's not worth it. Um, does life domain get. Okay, so that's cool. Okay, okay, okay. So in my brain, the way that this build would work would probably be 10, like 8 strength, 10 dex, 14 constitution, and then 16 wisdom and 16 charisma. So that way you can cast in both those the subsequent areas and be just fine. Uh. Yeah. And it, with with a what I like about the fact of going lore bard, and the reason again we're going lore bard here, I'll I'll show you. Not in this build, of course. This is this is the for the best healer support character. Um, we go to College of Lore. Level six, we get magical secrets. Otherwise, you get this at level ten. And with magical secrets, we would get access to the level six one is is limited to level three spells. So with level three spells, we get Warden of Vitality. Warden of Vitality is the big titty committee that I wanted to get. So while this aura lasts, you can cast Restore Vitality as a bonus action to heal yourself or nearby allies for 2d6 hit points. It's nice here that you can kind of just wombo that with the abilities of the Life Cleric. And it is a really, really, really good ability. Um, and the nice thing is, again, it's a bonus action. So you cast it, level 3 spell slots being used, all that kind of stuff. But it's nice to just kind of be able to get that up and running. Um, you could go with Mass Healing Word, probably use that from the Necklace, though. You would also get... Uh, an earnest disciple. Six and six. So you get it up to level six spells too. So it's really good. The wish mace? What's the wish mace? Are you talking about uh Lathander's light or whatever? I have two of those forward future. It's up on the, the channel right now. Uh, YouTube.com, BG3, Legolas. There you go. Bloomstalker is easily one. There you go, Horde Future. Oh. Mm -mm. Oh, a bird's nest. Yeah. 
Suck me some fucking eggs. Uh, would, would, would which barb fighter build is better? Sweeping attack or throwing attack? Uh, Darth... Bad noise. Uh, whatever you like more is what's better. Do you want to play? Do you want to have throwing barbarians, or do you want to have a sweeping attack barbarian? Because if you want the if you want the ladder over the former, that's the one you want to go with, my bro. Thank you, VM17. I'm glad to be goaded into the songs. Yeah, 100%. Chrissy, yeah, I'm just trying to. I was telling people that if you don't want to play that way, then here is a good healer. You know, like. Some people don't really want to play the action economy game and don't or don't really believe that's how it all works. So they want to have their typical Trinity and then they're more than entitled to that. So I'm more than happy to show it. That's why we don't really have a dedicated tank in this group. We just have three of the highest damage dealing classes in the game. Oh, sprinkle scribe. Oh, I see you. You boys is drunk. Not go in the mud. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Or bloodlust? I don't even know what that is. Oh! You know it's bad when Carlax is. So, so, oops, oops. Wrong, wrong character. Do not chop. Oh. I don't know. I've never used one. Shit, I didn't think I didn't think I'd jump her in. Because I'm all whoopsies. It's alright. Yeah, I don't even think I have any of those potions, to be honest. I am fury. I am dead. Dude, just getting chopped chopped in the face. How many rests can you take in honor mode total throughout the entire game combined? I However many food is present, <laughs> and if you get the uh, the special feast spell, you can just keep generating food. Uh, no, supplies are definitely not scarce. Other than early save to level up a bit because I got the Catholic fight way too soon and kept getting my butt kicked. Yeah, that I, that Catholic fight I did at the very end of everything, and it was not it was not e terribly easy, but it was not that hard. I just had to be really, I had to focus on how I did stuff. I remember reloading in the middle of it because I fucked up, like keeping something alive, I think it was. I can't remember now. Look at these lovely bottles of fire wine that I could have just blown up rather than doing this whole entire fight. Logical choice, thank you for following me. Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, make that switchy twitch, twitchy to twitchy. It's 11.30 right now. Mud. Yeah, you're totally good to keep long resting, man. There's no real, no real reason not to, you know. Oh yeah, baby. You know, see all what I just picked up. That's so much like camp supplies. Look at that. Oh, I thought that was way more than four. Did they change? 
Do individual items, camp supplies, amount change in um, the higher difficulties? Fix days, let's all come at you. Has everyone in this chat seen? I don't. I don't. We're gonna see how we're gonna see how deep inside this 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 stream gets here today. Has everyone in chat seen La La Land with uh, Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone? I can't play this tr the the scene on on stream, unfortunately. Answers. So Luna, you need to see it. Uh oh, Nature Boy's like, I have. <laughs> oh no. No, but Barbie's on max now. You know, I started Barbie, I couldn't really get into it a whole time. I gotta I gotta rewatch I was in, not in a good mindset. I gotta I gotta restart it. Um it, it's on it's on Netflix right now. Uh, well, it's a musical. It's not like it's not like a Nicolas Cage shit movie. <laughs> um okay, so this is gonna be a little horny. We're gonna short rest for this. Just to kind of get everything back online. Um, it came out in 2017. Was your first playthrough on Tactician? No, it was on Blessed. I just... <laughs> blessed. It was on uh, Balanced. I mean... Oh. Okay. Hmm, I don't like this. I love Nicolas Cage. Don't get me wrong. Maybe I jump across over here. A steadfast support. Yeah, we'll use the horn for sure. It's just an extra body. I just don't know if it, if coming at this thing through the like down the pipe is the best way, or to come over the top over here and try and basically go around. Because there's these guys over here. There's a whole bunch right here. And there's a good amount right there. All right, Nature Boy, go have fun, brother. You would come from the top. <laughs> The Nier and the Dwegar helped quite a bit. What I call either. Uh, so there is a. There is a. There's a scene in in. Um, oh, you can pull across the bridge, Girin. So we, need, do we have feather fall. Yeah, we have scroll of feather fall, so we can get across. I kind of like the idea of pulling across. Them. But I also like this taking of the high ground over here. Idea too. Come, come, my peasants. Take precious time with all nine of these turns. Get the fuck down here. Lays out just because you can leap 9,000 feet. Well, 
Well, now I kind of want to go do the bridge. I only have fog cloud though, so this is what we're gonna have to go. Cause I, I kind of like not necessarily hybrid, but no, no, no! I don't want to talk to anyone. I want to do this. Okay, what do we got? Okay. Uh, it does in the very beginning of the game, for sure. Yes, spike growth is stupid strong. Oh, 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 so cool. Everybody go check out Kazuki. She's so cool. Hey, Kazuki. Let's go check out my friend Jessica. If you're disappointed with a single thing over at Blizzard, you can go and complain to her. She's a dev at Blizzard. <laughs> but don't complain to her because I love Diablo 4. Another loyal devotee. You got the wrong girl. That ain't me. I saw her at BlizzCon. She held me up at gunpoint. I'ma tell them all. You're gonna, you're gonna be on the next Kotaku article about Blizzard. No, it does not. Uh, beef. She fully heals back up. Really, the only one who needs to go down there is lazy. Group sneak. Group break. An ad is running. Let me know when the ad stops running, and we will we will do this fight. I'll wait till the ad stops running. But for those that are going to be watching through the ad. We'll talk about this sentence, this this thing. So if you haven't, if, if you've not seen the movie La La Land, you should go see it. It's a, it's on Netflix right now. It is a musical. So it's definitely going to be. If you don't like musicals, it's going to be a little rough on you. But the ending to that movie, it, it's it's a very typical. It's one of my favorite movies, Jess. It's very typical. Like it's it came out in twenty seventeen and. I'd say from like early aughts to around like 2016, 17, we had a strain, a strain of uh, um, breakup style movies. Like 500 Days of Summer is a really good example of one of the movie like that. And they all have their, like the, those movies are like kind of timeless in the sense that no matter when you watch them, it's always will have like a relevance for you because you've gone through a breakup. You've gone through like a tra traumatic breakup probably. And <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to frame this. This is not a funny. This is not funny. Um, but the end of La La Land. Uh, spoiler alert, I guess. It, it's not like a happy ending in the sense. It's 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 a it's a real ending. It's a life ending. Like it's not like oh they travel off into the sunset. They they break up at the three quarter point of the movie. And in the end of the movie, Emma Stone remarries, and the guy she's married to, it's, it's the guy from the, it's the, it's the drummer from the movie, uh, That Thing You Do, The Wonders. Um, they're walking down the street after, after like, okay, we got a babysitter, the kid's being watched, we're going to go get dinner, and we're going to go just do our thing. You know, we're going to go do a little, little downtown L.A. action, because it all takes place in L.A., hence La La Land. And they're walking back to the car and there is like music coming out from a, this, this like little jazz bar. And she used to be like a singer. She tried to do this like professional singing and everything like that. Um, and uh, Ryan Gosling's character is a jazz pianist. And he's been trying to open up his own place called Seb's because his name is Seb, Sebastian. And she, she hears this music and the guy and her husband's like, oh, do you want to go in here? Like, yeah, let's go in for a bit. And as she walks through the door, she sees this glowing neon sign that says Sebs. And she's like, uh-oh. Comes through this, sits down, and the jazz band's kind of playing. And they're like, oh, let's bring the owner out here. He doesn't usually play, but he's going to play here tonight. He's going to play a little bit here tonight. Let's see what he does. See what he does. And out comes Ryan Gosling. And 
he sits down at the piano and he plays like a little bit and kind of looks out at the crowd and he sees Emma Stone. And then he decides to play like a song and it's a song that they wrote together. Like he had done the, the, like the music for it and she did the lyrics for it when they were, when they were in their relationship at the height of their relationship. I'm trying to get choked up talking about this because <laughs> it can fuck me up really bad. Um, and when he's playing that, it kind of like the, the, the camera like focuses on her and then you see her playing through in her mind. Like, like you just kind of, the, the song stops and it transitions to a happier song, a song that's kind of synonymous with like the happier portions of their relationship earlier in the movie. And you see them going through the life that she has with the man that she's now married to. And you see them step through every little bit of it. Like, okay, right where they break up, rather than things going the bad route, they go the good route and they stay together. They have a kid. She does this. He does that. And they blah, 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 blah. And rather than her being out with her husband and stumbling across a jazz place, she's out with him stumbling across a jazz place. And they do these things together. And it kind of like snaps back to reality and the camera kind of pans away. And you see that she's kind of sitting there and he's finishing up the song. And it, I, when I saw that movie, I was in the theater with my ex, well, my girlfriend at the time, uh, Rachel, you know, that cunt from, cunt from the fucking five rings of hell. <laughs> um, and my ex-girlfriend, and I did it for three years. I knew we weren't going to, I knew we weren't going to last after month eight. But you, you kind of, you tell yourself that that's not going to happen. You tell yourself, you know what? Uh, I'm just, we're going to sacrifice. We're going to compromise. I'm going to hope for the better result of this relationship. And you don't really realize in the, in the long run, what you're doing is you're, you're hurting yourself. You don't kind of notice the pain that builds up in your character and your psyche over time. The slow glove of trauma that your hand just slides into for the, for the cost of comfort. And like we were probably got again, I'm like two years into the relationship. And I sat there in the theater watching this scene, holding her hand, like blubbering. I was crying so hard. I was, and it wasn't just like one of those, like, ah, it was like a very, like the suck in cry, like, <laughs> like where you just kind of, you just can't really catch a breath. Your eyes are squeezed so sh fucking tight. And, and she's like holding my hand and she's crying too. But, She's crying because I think it's a sad movie. Or I, I think she's crying because because it's a sad it's a sad thing. It's a tender thing. It's a tender moment, right? I'm crying because I see that. Like I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I this this is for me in my brain, this is a mirror to our relationship. And I see that we could be this better port this better, stronger relationship if it wasn't for the issues in the relationship without getting into those things. Um, she had really just had really bad self-esteem. She had really bad self-esteem, man. She'd been she'd been raked over the coals by too many dudes. Um, and there's a part of me though that wonders if she was crying because she knew it too. If she knew the relationship was kind of on its terminus, and she remembers the like the, the the nice high points, the tender points of the relationship too. And then that's kind of what that scene's about. And at the as she kind of comes to. Um, and Ryan Gosling's looking at her. She's looking at him and her husband, who is a nice person. Like the, the husband just seems like a good guy, but the husband definitely seems like it's a, it's a marriage of convenience or comfort and not a marriage of love and passion, which I think we all kind of eventually fall into some points in our lives. It's very rare that after the first one, we kind of we kind of deviate towards another strong. We, we go, well, you know what? This is a good relationship versus this is the relationship I want type thing. You know, it's a difference. Also, age teaches you things. But he's like, do you want to, do you, are you okay? Do you want to go? And she's like, yeah, let's go. And, and like, he's again, very tender, very nice man. And they're leaving. And she, as she walks out, she looks over and, and Ryan Gosling's just fixated on her, right? And they look at each other. And it, it, dude, that movie did not win fucking Best Picture. It was taken by 
what we do in the water. I don't know. The Fishman water sex movie, which was a good movie, but this was like a life movie. This is like the shit that happens in the real world movie. And that's what I like about La La. Shape of Water. Thank you. Shape of Water was a good movie, but it was Shape of Water. Um, yeah, right, Quarry? <laughs> you came in a, a wild part, uh, uh, Gruffalo. But yeah, so Ryan, so Emma Stone looks at Ryan Gosling. And she's smiling in this kind of like, hey, you did it type of look. And Ryan Gosling's looking back and he is, <laughs> and he's kind of giving like a, a sad eyed, simple smile of like, yep, yeah, sure did. And then she leaves. And then he says, okay, let's get, let's go to the next song. And that I think is like the best personification of best portrayal personification is not the right word best portrayal of like love and relationships and heartbreak because you have those little you have the well we're talking about love and relationships but yeah also movies um you have those glimpses those moments in your life where you uh your brain kind of shoots back right to to those relationships and you go and what did I do wrong? That was the right person. Whatever it is, you know, whatever kind of lie you tell yourself with the rosy tint on. And once you snap out of it, it's just time to go back to the thing you were doing. And and I think it's just such a, what I like about that movie so much is it tells the story of how there is an underlying current of heartbreak under almost every person, especially nowadays, right? Where we're so individualistic and, and spread out emotionally and, and, and like as people. And when we come together, we come together so hard and fast and then seemingly split apart just as just as hard and fast. So it's kind of in my mind, the aside from losing a loved one, right? The most tragic thing in the world is falling out of love is the realization that this isn't what you wanted, but it's not at that complete point of end yet. It's not that breakup yet. It's that it's the points before it where you kind of try to limp along to try to make it work. Those oof. Ah, ooh. So who thinks who likes being in this Baldur's Gate stream, huh? Game of the year. <laughs> yeah, if you're new to my streams, you're probably not new. You, you're probably not new to me doing stuff like that. That happens a lot on my streams. It's not all about smashing bridges apart so Minthara dies. <laughs> I, I I won't lie. A steadfast support. I was last night. I went out with Rob, Rachel, and my friend Pat, and we got a, we got a we got a little uh, we got a little food, got a little drunk. And I came back and I was like, oh, you know, I, just, I was listening to music and I was like, oh man, you know, I, La La Land. And I, I decided to watch that final scene. I cried my ass off. It's, it's 11.44 AM, 12 hours ago, I was crying. <laughs> uh, because I was like, fuck man, Another that's fucking, loyal, that fucking team. scene. Because I remember how I felt in that moment. And now I know how I am now after that relationship. And I'm like, fuck. I learned a life. I learned. A, I learned a lesson about life, Jared. That's what I'm here for, man. I was, but I was not like hammered. I had had like I had a I had a margarita, and that fucked me up, man. <laughs> Did what just happen? We have very we have very human we have very human conversations here. Yeah, it's up it's up on Netflix. It's up on Netflix. Give it a watch. Watch it though and focus on it. Don't watch it and get on your phone because you'll miss the context and you'll miss the subtlety of, of the situation and go, ah, oh, fuck. I guess I missed it. By the time that, by that time though, I wasn't really Jess. I was kind of just like, I, I just like going on your stream and fucking off. That was a chocolate scene anime and you can't convince me otherwise. Thanks, Pete. I appreciate that, man. Koreano, if you want another good cry. Okay. I mean, dude, I cried when I watched fucking The Greatest Showman because I was, I was like, that's right around when I was quitting my job because I was miserable to do YouTube. And that show, that movie is about like being galvanized to do what you want, right? To do, to kind of go after your own passion. 
smog and the rain and blood and blood run. the one he made up the tannhauser gate which doesn't exist i fucking love it keep your blade close uh, oh i thought it, oh i thought it was c r y okay i didn't know it was c y r i thought it was cryano i'm like oh yeah cryano sure whoops i thought it was c r y i was like, I was like how are you, how do you pronounce it you know uh, fixed days, I, and I am not a psychologist, but you know the person that just said a comment right abo above and below you, she is. Um, typically, if you cry at a lot of things that are like, like oh, you watch someone just help someone across the road, some tender act of kindness, you're going through some shit. So, just uh, kind yourself, bro. Another loyal devil days are hard. You'll get through it. That usually is a sign that you're going through some bad anxiety and depression. When little little acts or little things that are little niceties here and there. <laughs> it's me, I'm a behavior analyst. And I'm not a trained behavior analyst. I've just gone through those things, so I, I kinda kinda see the pattern. Let's go ahead and You thought you would sleep. Just don't don't ask her to to pick out a guy for herself. <laughs> My patience waits. Will this wake them? We're gonna find out. No, oh, god damn it, sons of bitches! <laughs> well, it was worth a trick. It wasn't really gonna help me out. Hey, they're drunk anyway. We're gonna we're gonna fuck them up. You know, there's a big push for Stoicism and the, the writings of Marcus Aurelius. And what's really interesting about those things is that when you read um, temptations, when you read meditations, <laughs> you read Marcus Aurelius talking about how... People are so caught up and enamored with the material and the everyday and their successes and their their chasing of these things. And you would think Marcus Aurelius is writing as a 21th century writer. So that's one of the coolest things about reading Meditations is that it is very much, um, it is very much a highly relevant piece even now. But. I would say, if you do read that, make sure you also just kind of read into the context of your own life. Marcus Aurelius was someone who kind of like took that stuff and practiced it for ages. Like he was, he by the time he had written that, he was well into being an emperor. He was, he was someone who was a very learned individual. So to kind of jump into uh, Stoicism and go, I'm going to do the things that the Stoics did. It's hard because you have to... It's both the acknowledgement and the denial of emotion in a certain way, right? You acknowledge that you as a human feel feelings, but you deny that you'll let those feelings control you. And that latter part is way harder than the former. So if you try to kind of get into it and, and try to pull lessons from it, just don't beat yourself up looking through the perfection of it because it's not a perfect system. It's designed as a way to acknowledge life and that the things you can and cannot control are well out of your control. 21th? Did I... 20, 21th? Probably. In your clinical practice? What? I don't make a dating profile. Easy. Aha! No, shit, I forgot. Okay, uh... No, you do not. You do not hate me. I'm telling my mom that you said that. Gosh, it's not too far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of... Debbie would be pissed to hear you say such things, Rachel. Are you...
Are you done with Warhammer videos? Uh, there's there's nothing new to talk about with Warhammer 3, brother. I've missed this. Still breathing, despite everything. Shall we dance? Yeah. So every year for Christmas, my brothers and my my brother, my sister-in-law now, and my mom and I. It used to be my brothers, my my two brothers and I, and my mom. We would go look at Christmas lights. And Rachel has always wanted to do it because I record it and put it on my Instagram, and it's fucking ridiculous. No, not San Marino. Uh, Hastings Ranch. I mean, we go, we so we end up going to the San. Ooh, I didn't know that would happen. We go to the San Marino one, Riggedy, but uh, we really just kind of go to the Hastings Ranch one. That's the big one. So. With this, we do not need to equip it again. Dude, the Hastings Ranch one's the best one. I don't know what cost. Oh, I know what cost for an action. We, again, I think we won't use Frenzy here. What do you guys think? We're just going to kill these. These don't really have that much hit points. Another loyal devotee. This companion. Ha! It's more blood. Right. Thank you guys very much for following on over here. If you uh, also are watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that switch. To if you're watching on YouTube, make the switch to Twitch. And if you have not yet used your Prime sub, use your Prime sub on me. 25% uh, off normal subs and 10% extra for any bits per chest. Uh, do you not want that shy? Swift and lethal. I'm gonna stand right here. Okay, yeah, that's that's attack of opportunity for both. Perfect. Okay, uh, Carlizzi. The weapon, equipment, throwing, returning pipe. Really? That's kind of wild, shy. How often the bills have flashed this? Crazy how reliable that can be. Yeah, it really, it really is. I don't understand that. I don't. I mean, I could just drop this. Can't hurt. Easy. What the? Fuck you. It won't hurt. Just might as well. Free damage. Yeah, that's right. You can't. You can't bite shovel, baby. And you know what? I can't wait for is the next season of Cobra Kai. Time to kill. Random, I know, but I fucking love that show, man. I'm gonna reach this destination. You know what, I'm actually just gonna jump down here so I can shoot better. Stupid trees in the way. How to make a good looking character. <laughs> Let's go. Gotta be a good looking man. Oh! oh I thought I said 26. I was like, well, he's dead. Disengage. What Chrissy said. The best class is the one you like playing. What the fuck, man? Path is not interrupted. Path's not interrupted. You are interrupting the path. 
He'll just get one of these out. It's just a round of damage we don't need. I'm gonna get here though so that this fucker can't fuck. That's what I said. <laughs> okay. So let's actually pop on this monster. I thought we'd be able to win through that one. Okay, though. I have a plan. I don't have a plan anymore. Best help before it gets worse. Take this blade ward. Let's turn someone inside out. Right in the old heel. I gotta just. So stupid. Guns. This will just this. So what? The point of this is, I'm just trying to force them to use a primary action to get out of these situations. Yeah, like disengage now. Oh no! I didn't think that would happen. Well, uh, this fight just became not good, guys. We can go through here. Taking position. Watch this. Good thing I didn't, but this little shit did. Oh, maybe, you know what? Maybe Shovel did. I might just blow this hole and go into this cracked wall. It starts another fight, but a much smaller fight over on that end. I don't even know how they're going to get up here. I don't... They just, oof. I'll take a 90% disadvantage. Did that work? <laughs> I didn't know what that would do. You need to just kill this guy. I wonder if this is worth the cost. With haste. Oh, he said fist from time, all right. Hello. Cool. We'll be able to knock that out. Cut and, run. and what we'll do here is. Please. Yes. A better position. The attractive shit. Both my ex and I feel we were pretty attractive, but we were like water and oil. Never trust being good looking. Good trade. Uh, I mean, it's true. But I also. Oh, fuck. That hit Starion hard. Oh my god, dude. Maybe this fight is not worth it. Fury of the Small. What the fuck is Fury of the Small? When you damage a creature larger than you, you choose to deal 1 to 6 extra damage, limited to once per combat. Dude, oh my god, those guys do a lot of damage. Make way. I'm a big believer. Okay, 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 okay. Let, let, let's, let's, let's put this in your heads. Everybody in chat. Perfect, perfect. I want you to think of the 
first person you really quote unquote fell in love with. And you know, if if you're younger, love is a weird concept when you're younger, right? Oh god, please don't fuck up staring in here. It's not gonna be good. It's gonna this is gonna rough the getaway. It's gonna rough up the getaway. Um No, I mean like actual relationship. Rachel. Um and I think what you'll find, maybe for me personally, it was a girl with pretty eyes, dark hair, pale skin. Pretty much every girl since then has been pretty, uh, pretty much like a cookie cutter of that, in some way, shape, or form. It doesn't doesn't need to be a specific, a specific emotional trait or a specific like physical trait, but it's usually some combination of some of those things. Like Lauren was all those and quirky and blah, 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 bubbly like indie girl. Like I, I think I'm fucking what's her name from 500 Days of Summer and New Girl. Um, uh, oof, fucking the uh, she's hot. What's her name? She's an elf. The dots macabre. Them. Let's get to the show. Zoe Saldana. Nope. Zoe Deschanel. There you go. This was a good get out. That was a good get out right there. That could have gone real bad, real fast. And I, dude, I'm kind of wondering even if we do that fight anymore. Oh, I know your type, Rachel. It's easy. Stealth mode oh, that was hunt completed. Whoops, fuck. A steadfast supporter. Rachel's type is... <laughs> military guys. Uh. <laughs> oh god, oh, I'm talking to this one guy. He's so cool. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a branch that he's serving. Oh god, it's so funny. <laughs> you wouldn't even dare. You, yeah, take. We'll take it to Luna's stream. She's not going to openly talk about Let's going through vicious levels of breakup like I will. Um, or one other cheating on me. I'll tell the world. Um, Yeah, we've already done this area, Shy. We're just kind of eating up any kind of additional experience we can. What do we do, bros? Do we go back out there and try to throw fisticuffs in that area? I mean, what we can use, actually, is kind of jumping back and forth between here when things get a little too rough. And kind of take out the army piecemeal. That might be a good way to go about it. I mean, it, hey, there's nothing wrong with it. I ain't gonna fault you, brother. We're out of short rest, unfortunately, and I think I used my song of rest. Yep. I can go to Underdark. But I'm just, again, we're just trying to get level 5. Because if we get level 5, then we just get a huge power spike. And that's pretty crucial. Let me see what happens if we come back out here real quick. Okay, so we're not in a fight. This is good. You know, the Arcane Tower, though, I like to do once I can do the sus. Oh my god, dude, I'm... That susser tree was so fucking hard. Oh, oh my god. 
Yeah, we saved the grove and the tieflings for sure. That's just free money right there. It's free real estate. I don't know, this fight seems a lot harder than it, than it has been before. Andrick. Yeah, those hook bastards are hookers. No, oh, little buddy. Little buddy. Little Albert Cubby. I mean, do we really use the horn and go crazy here? The, the the problem is this. That is rough. No, we just lose it. We don't get the halibur. It is. It's part of honor mode, I'm pretty sure. And the fact that they all get it is really, really rough. So this first round of combat can be terrible. What would you say, Red Lotus? Max and I got together because of our trauma bonding. It's all because in the end, both of us have to go to a psychiatrist just to break up. I'm still single at 28 years old. <laughs> Red Bud, how old do you think I am? <laughs> Any different matter other than the hit? Uh, they, uh, the, well, they get like, okay, so this is an example, right? They get, they get new features. Uh, and the legendary action things is really fun, Jess. It 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 makes it makes a lot of stuff really exciting in the game because you're like, oh yeah, this is kind of a trivial fight. I'll reload it. You, there's none of that, so you kind of gotta get wild with it. Legendary actions, yeah. You'd say in thirty or nine thousand. You go to your camp, okay? Huh? Red Bud Ryan says, you think I'm 30? What do you, some of the other, what do you other bros think? How old I am. I don't know how, oh, I want the experience, but I'm like, is this worth it to do right now? You can guess, I don't give a shit. Minimum 52. Chrissy thinks 35. Riggedy rightfully thinks 58. <clears throat> a lot. I, the, this whole entire camp and this whole entire... Like, I haven't killed pretty much anything. You know what? It might be worth it now to go from the front. Gosh. Jay says 35. Jay's been here a long time, though. How's the keys of hydrate? <laughs> what do you guys see that? They like hopscotched over this. That was cool. They like hopscotch. That was fucking crazy. I am. I just turned 36 in December. December 1st. This is December. On December. Go for it, painting. What's up, dude? I like Doth Destroy with the pike that returns. I don't have anything that really allows me to do that. Another loyal. Devil Max is following us. I don't look a day over 21 yet. Chrissy, what ethnicity are you? Hydration of tiny jeans. Very true. Smog, when he met me at, at BlizzCon, he goes, you know, there's two things that you don't really get a good sense for 
Like, because Smog had only met me via streaming, right? And Smog was like, there's two things that that the, that streaming kind of, like, throws off. Um, a, you, you look way younger in person. I was like, oh, okay, cool. He's like, and B, your Chun-Li cosplay level legs and how fucking huge they are. I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. Rachel's scene, I have huge leg. I have a huge ass. My height? I am I used to be I used to be 5'11, now I'm 5'10. Ten. Ten years of, of Olympic weightlifting and competing has compressed my spine. 4'3. Yeah. 4'3. Just, just jumping to get to my desk. So I think, yeah, we'll, we'll burst these bitches. You cake stream when you just... I can twerk. I full on can twerk. I did it on Friday in an ugly sweater costume. <laughs> it's a costume, ugly sweater. This guy goes, oh my god, you did that in an ugly sweater? I'm like, yeah, absolutely I did, buddy. This is amazing hip control. Let's get these guys all set up here. Lazel should be the... The warden of this bridge. We'll just pull them in and kill them as they come across. Now this is the way to do it, right? Just I'm just gonna shoot this barrel. Yeah. It, there, there's no there's no charade here. I am 100 percent that guy. This person's gonna bless. So I think if we blow this up. I don't bench. Not bench. Not my jam. Holy shit. Oh, buddy. But do I do I shoot an arrow of darkness? Like shoot it like right here and have it just kind of darken that little spot. Then put Carla. Then put like Lazel. It lasts for I think to like is it ten turns or like two turns actually. Not yet. Okay. Only lasts for three turns. Spread magical darkness on impact. Yeah, like, I mean, you, competing Olympic weightlifting, right? We don't really, you don't bench. There's no reason to bench. In fact, benching in general, you shouldn't really be doing. Way better ways to get uh, sh chest strength. We pull and squat a lot. Too closer. Do we want to? Do we want to wait until they're a little bit closer, though? So you pull more? Okay. Shiro, what's up, man? Another loyal devotee. Got it. Ought to do it. Bopped him right on the little, little head. Victory awaits. Make way. My max deadlift is 650 pounds. Um, I'm gonna last for one turn, but just in case something gets close and pull some Tom Foolery, I'll do it. Let's have some uh, and my max squat is like only it's only like 195 kilo. I am a not. Uh, what do you recommend besides benching? I went for flat, decline, incline bench, and never really thought past that. Um, you can definitely do all that, Riggity. You know what you can do is, if you want, if you want a big chest, 
if you want a huge fucking chest. Um, really, all you need to do is push-ups. But you don't just do push-ups. All right, you're going to do 4 to 20. You do... So there's a Navy SEAL training program to get you, like, prepared for the physical exams. And you basically will take a two-minute timer and do as many push-ups as you can, keeping your hands on the deck. Um, so keep your hands on the deck. You push, you do as many as you can. You can stop, but you just got to keep your hands on the deck. And you take that number, and you do, I think it's like... 15% of that number. Uh, like uh, The next day you would do this. You wouldn't just do it immediately. You take, so let's say the number is like, I don't know, 75. You take, a, I said it might, might be 20% or, or 50%, whatever it is. You take that number and you do it. And then you just reduce the number by 7%, which is fucking weird, right? And you keep doing that with a minimum of 10 push-ups, that, that you have to do 10 no matter what, every set. But the point is, you wait 20 seconds in between each one of those sets to get to your max. And if you do that three times a week, your chest will get huge and very strong. But yeah, do decline. Decline's good for your under tit. I mean, not enough movement. Just come over here and shoot this fucker. Ugh. No, my brother was in the Navy. I'm just a shithead. Oh, God, it's just so close. Your brother's in the Navy? I don't know your brother was a seaman. No, I, I wouldn't say it's open world at all. Okay, now we'll use an arrow of darkness, right? Yeah? Maybe so? Currently in the Navy. What do you do in the Navy, Gold? My brother was an asshole. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Ad break ends in a minute 23. We'll wait until that ad ends. But we'll use this uh, Arrow of Darkness in the meantime. Maybe right here in this little kill box? That's where we use it? Or do we use it more than right here? Oh, big stretch. I am from in California. Ship navigation and stuff, but my current job is just a boring desk job. Yeah, I mean, hey, my brother. So my brother went to Annapolis, um, and he wanted to be a jet fighter. Went through flight school. I got good news, I got bad news. Good news is you both passed. Bad news is I only got spot for one jet fighter and hand it to the other guy because my brother's six foot. The other guy was five, eight, five, nine. So better suited for a, a jet fighter. So my brother was a weapon specialist on Hawkeyes for um, a good chunk of time. And then he was grounded and had to basically be like, not fire guard, but more or less kind of Kind of sh shitty. It was shitty. He, he basically sat in front of a, a, like three or four consoles and was in charge of the battle group and would just have to listen for whenever that the call sign of that ship was said for specific orders. Uh, so where am I using this? Right here? Right here we said? Or are we doing it back here? Now that your ad is up. I was going to join and become, uh, I was going to try to dodge the draft. Because, like, when I graduated college, they were like, the, we, there might be a draft. So I was going to dodge it by doing, um, 
Fucking barricade sucks, man. I was gonna dodge it by becoming a officer and go and become a field surgeon. Wow, well, as I graduated college. Was a tomahawk tech and Sammy small arms. Yeah, man. Like he, he basically they told him like. They basically said like, yeah, you can you can stay, but your best bet's just join HR. It's the fastest way to get promoted. He was a second lieutenant. Let me break out this bracket. That didn't work at all. That was a fucking stupid idea. So you are gonna go right here because they're gonna come towards you. We'll gobble it up. Maybe we frenzy now. Yeah, we got a lot to deal with. We'll frenzy. And we still have the horn. I can use the horn of Gondor. But yeah, my my goal is like go join the army. Just go to special individuals, combat medic, field surgeon, um, officer training. And, uh, Rachel, if I had done that, we would have, we would have dated for sure when we first met. <laughs> and, um, go become a ranger. But my goal of, like, going, going to become a field surgeon was, okay, after that, I can go become a general practitioner. This is kind of redundant. Oh, you blow your knee out. Mm. Maybe this is not, that's, maybe we just cast an actual scroll spell. Thunderwaves would be nice, but, um, what scrolls do you have, Estereon? Saving lives. I save lives in a different way. Emotionally. Okay. I, that, that's not good. Why can't I look at my scrolls? Yeah. Cloud of Dagger would be really cool right here, but I can't read this. Here, maybe I got to put it on this character and I'll be able to do it. It's gonna cost me a fucking action to do. Nope. Well, now we know that maybe that's not the best place for the scrolls in the midst of a fight. I can't even open that. That's weird. Oh, let me do this. Oh, there we go. We have cloud of daggers. Cool. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I can't do that. I've got to... I've got to do this. It's time to turn things around and turn Twitch into a way to get back blown out. Ooh. Oof. Rachel over here just trying to give sex tips. You, you want your booty eaten out from the back? Go ask Rachel, behavioral therapist, for some sweet, hot te sex tips. It's, Reggie, it's a very, speci uh, very special book. I think this is probably the best place for it. Do quite a bit of damage, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could also use chromatic orb. Let me see what else I've got in my, in my repertoire. I don't think I have a fireball on me. Uh, scroll of mana is cool. Did we talk about this last stream? I was going to talk about it. I don't know if I did. For the dudes here. For the people that watch porn. Yeah, we, we, kinda, we brought this up. We brought this up. We brought this up. I'm going to do it again. No, it's not a thunderbolt. It's just light. Oh. 
I thought it was uh, Witch Bolt. Ooh, that's kind of good. That's kind of good. Ooh, baby, I love your way. That's that's it. I think that's it. So here's my problem, though. Is this going to hit the barricade and not work? This is definitely a Kamehameha. I don't even know if it'll go through the barricade, but we're going to find out. Let's find out. Let's. You know how I like to test things. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Smoke those fucking fools! Oh my god, that was fucking good. Oh god, I am having the gasm of ore. That touched my butt. Fuck my heart. Oh, dude, I'm too. I I, I do it all the time. I hate that I do it all the time. Mmm. Mm. So we can't shoot through this because this is darkness. So we should wait. I'm gonna move you away from that scary ass cliff. In order that whole line of goblins is a really a good way to put it. You guys were right. You guys were. Oh shit, that ended my frenzy. Fuck. That's alright. Here comes Big Mama. Oh. So, you're watching porn. And we all know what happens in porn. They always have like a fucking. Oh, look, it's the, uh, it's the uh, fucking uh, the money shot. Who likes this? Who likes that? Do you guys like that? Has anyone watched the money shot and been like, that's it. That's what I was waiting for. To release myself. Is it just me? Because I think that's, I, I, I'm just not, I'm not, I just don't care. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, that's not, that's not real life. Another loyal devotee. I've never thought to myself, you know what I really want to do? Is this potentially blind and or cause several hours of irritation to my significant other by esplusing into their eyeball? I want to paint the face of the one I love. <laughs> I just, I, it, not my bag of, not my bag of teas. Do I just get Lazel in here and fight, or do I let this thing come to come to me? Come here, bud. A white, a white pillow. Oh. Holy big one. What you're doing? What you're doing? <laughs> Thank you very much. I uh, don't think they cross darkness. What do you mean? Like you said, they might jump over it. Chlamydia? You can spread chlamydia into the eyeball? You're wild, man. Let's go. They won't come to you. Okay. So I'm going to have to jump in there and throw Why? fisticuffs. I don't get that enraged throw because I wasted that whole fucking thing. I am death. I mean, I could just jump past and fuck shit up. But I really want to see if I can get Big Ugly down first. 
as much as I can. I don't like that Sam I am. Arr. No choice but to keep going. Good. Toy. Do I just throw Lazelle on there and just kind of get wild with it? I feel like this is... I, I don't want to waste this scroll. I feel like I, I can just kill these things. I mean, nine hit points left. This thing's got the most. This thing's pretty much... Having an ogre off of a bridge? I don't think I can. Oh shit! I think I should get Lazel in here and, and try and kill this thing because this will do a lot of damage. She'll be blinded, but she'll she'll have disadvantage. I can move all the way out of here. I'm just worried about being over here. Uh, it won't reduce its its ability to do damage to me, and getting shoved. We should be okay right here, though. <clears throat> You know what? Let's do it. Let's go right there. On the move. Yeah, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing back there? What are you doing back there? Me two, thirty-two. I'm going to eleven to sixteen. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I wanted to err on the side of caution. Make sure I got that down. <clears throat> No, we could probably we're, some, we're probably fine here still, because there's not much left in this camp. <clears throat> I'm just trying to make it so I'm not stacked against that opening. Yeah, dude, that's so much damage. Uh, there there is there's these this guy up here. Come on, can't stay idle. Shall we dance? I'll push him over here just to kind of get. Let's go with fire, baby. Oh, baby. Oh. That could be good. Wait. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god, that did so much damage! I didn't know that's how that fucking worked. Fucking crush you, bub bub. I don't even think I can reach this guy. To 
to Death. shoot it. That surprised the shit out of me. Ready for another round. Handy. Oh, long distance from deep. There's still more, by the way. <clears throat> Honor mode, indeed. We're just clearing out the camp. We actually we haven't we haven't done nearly as much today as I was hoping to do. Oh, little tats, what's up, man? Thank you, you know, thank you. How you feeling? You feeling better? Guys, go check out little tats here. He's my Swedish doppelganger. He's recently recovered from a not-so-fun bout of pneumonia. A dwarf poem. And this to... Talking like crazy. Oh, oof. Oh. That's the worst part about it, man. I'm sorry, bro. Hope you feel better soon. Ooh. We feel better soon, though. That goes to Asterion. Make sure you are on the Twitch if you're watching on YouTube. Need to find a way forward. Was someone there? <sighs> so like I said, we still got more. Not much though, it looks like, which is good. Um, so for Asterion. <clears throat> The, the reason we did this is because it gives him plus one to his initiative, and that's what's crucial here. Uh, sometimes it just... It, the border never disappears. It, it's not useful. Okay, where is Asty here? Asty Jeez. Martin. No, I didn't forget it. I was like, you know what? This doesn't really look like a really, like... doesn't look like I need it right now. Why can't I... I, I, why, don't I why do I not have... Advantage. Okay. Let's hope that you don't trigger the fight. Fuck, fuck. No. Be careful. Owlbear. My little owlbear, bro. Be safe. Sweet owlbear puppy. Ernest, disciple. Gone. Oh. Hungry. We got the owlbear. Loyal so yeah, we might have lost Minthara, but he runs away. Only time will tell if he'll reappear. Look at the little eyes, cuckoo. Poor creature. I hope we can follow my scent back to camp. Our modest fellowship expands. My friend Joel, thank you so much for seven up, my bro. Yeah, uh, did, are you playing on honor mode right now? I, I don't remember when I when I looked at your stream. 
surprisingly, they're all still, still kicking. I think we kill these two, right? I mean, might as well. I'm gonna clear them all out. I've never fully looted this place. Yeah, 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 you, 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 tats. Uh, can I eat this? Nope, nope. I was, I was like, wait a minute, this seems like a form of cannibalism. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a, a very fun experience. Oh, first time playing a BGG game, okay. Well, I'll tell you, it's definitely not like uh, other Baldur's Gate games, that's for sure. So we still have these all the way up here. We still haven't killed Crusher, which is another f uh, f uh, fucking what's those things called? These boots have seen everything. Like missile. I just re reclassed a monk. That's a great reaction. Yeah. Did you 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 see? Did you see what I did there, Chrissy? When we butt fucked that thing with its own missile? Yeah, that's the best part about like playing these games, right? Is like that that. Okay, and I'm gonna do this all over again. I, I killed this guy, right? There's no reason to talk to him. Oh, this is the dude. These are the two from the fucking Alabear Cave, right? What now? I've seen no bird. Do a little tiny trick and shot. Oh, you ain't gonna like it. Oh, hidey ho, bro. These two are tougher than I think. Not if they're both dead, Girin. Okay, fuck. Now I'm not. I'm not having a good time anymore. <laughs> I was like, oh, 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 oh. oh fuck you. Cool, I'm gonna I'll waste that 20 pound critical hit. Oh. Get punched in the throat. Take that, gam gam. Raucous bitch. I want to all right there. Up close and personal, please. GGGGGG. <laughs> I think of the DD movie where Chris Pine is rolling ones trying to get one title untied. Dude, I love that DD movie. That DD movie was so fun. And Chris Pine was so good in it. I'm gonna have plenty of fucking food too. Yeah, it definitely. I, you know, what's your name did a really good job too. Uh, Fast and the Furious. I have to keep going. Uh, I'll take no, that. We don't want that. We want this. I want pork belly now. I was thinking of roasting a chicken today. So so random, right? But I got a whole bunch of new knives, and. Nothing puts a new knife set to, to, to work than carving a chicken for the first, like carving a, a chicken. But I don't have a chicken, so I gotta go get one. Yo, you're all the way over in Oklahoma, Utah, Connecticut, Kansas, so I can't be doing that. A few questions about builds in Baldur's Gate, three particularly in for armor. What is up, Aaron? How can I help you, dude? Securing. Oh, Sharma, you motherfucker. Oh, look, they're, they're making roast chicken over here. A whole goddamn chicken. Then the show that is lost. Oh, you live in Las Vegas? Oh. I'm coming through. Let's go to the club. <laughs> yeah, but like roast, like doing a roast chicken is not that hard. And I, I love cooking. I grew up doing it. I have a pipe dream. I have two pipe dreams. One pipe dream is become a voice actor. Because that would be great. Yeah, another one is to... Um, I dropped 
I don't drop it like it's hot anymore. Just sit down like it's warm. Pretty good. That was pretty, pretty good. Um. A steadfast supporter. So because oh my oh. A weird sensation. Um, become a voice actor or open up a food truck. I would love to be a voice actor. Does party order do anything? So uh, I'll show you what party order does. Swift as bing, 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 bing. And this is Twisted Camp. It's you got that sh that smexy deep one just saying go for it. It see it's it's the dulcet tones that just kind of sneaks up on you in the middle of the night. These are calling one hundred five point five K gems. And spinning the smoothest and sound and, and loudest sounds of today, tomorrow, and yesterday. This next song goes out to uh, a little girl over there in Alabama named Rachel. Rachel was saying that she's gone through her fifth dishonorable discharge boyfriend, and she's looking for a little love in a long in, a, in, a, in the wrong place. So Rachel, this one out, goes out to you. It is Toxic by Britney Spears. So tune in to 105.5 KEJ. <laughs> what the fuck? Fall <laughs> uh, signs of affection, Rachel. You know, I used to be, I used to do tons and tons and tons of impersonations. And I still do them because impersonation is all about like vocal inflection, right? Like, um, a Christopher Walken impersonation is not as good if you don't, like if you were just to listen to the voice, but if you see like the hand gestures and the head movements and stuff like that, that's, that's what kind of makes it. So I used to do that all the time. <laughs> this character DJ for years. Oh my God. So there's a, there's a. There is a dive bar, not too far from where I live. Uh, Rachel knows this place. It's called PJ's, and it, it's like PJ's is kind of kind of ass wild. Like you'll go there, and maybe you see college students because it's walking distance from where I went to uh, a dive bar, just like a, like a seedy, shitty bar. Um, in the UK, we would call it a pub. A pub. <laughs> um, but like you see college students or you see a guy with a swastika tattoo on his neck right here. Like I went there when I shaved my head once. The guy's like, hey, hey, brother. I'm like, wrong brother. I just hormones, man. I, <laughs> wrong team, dude. Um, but oh, dude, it's over here. They do karaoke on Sunday, karaoke nights on Sunday. I used to go there a lot in college. And it's it's one of those places that like a guy comes up. Walks in, like, sunglasses on, bomber jacket, fucking V-neck, deep V, but he's, like, 80 pounds overweight. So he's owning that confidence in his body, which is great. Love that for him. But swings in, kind of kind of got, like, an offset bowler hat or, like, a, not a fedora, not a fedora, um, a chapeau, something like that. Some fucking dumb fucking hat. A trilby. And then does, like, the lean. The, this is a CD. So finger in the hole, other one holding this outside the CD does look one of these though. There you go, man. Track four, go ahead. Like, you know that guy. You know that fucking guy <laughs> is just every single day of the week adds up to the Sunday that he goes to do karaoke and he couldn't be more jazzed about it. Really, really serious about his, uh, his not competitive, competitive uh, pool skills. Go ahead, go ahead and play that for me, huh? Track four, and then it's like George Mark George Michael's Careless Whisper, which I'm not gonna lie, George Michael's Careless Whisper is my go-to fucking karaoke song. Guilty feet, got no rhythm, never gonna dance again. Mm. I think we come. And a saw so much shit, so fun. Ooh, was it fun, <laughs> or were you just worried? <laughs> I think we come back to the top, back to the the top for this part. I mean, I'll sing fucking Aladdin. 
I can show you the world. I've been in four musicals. I am not a good singer. I am terrible at it. The, the director, who was a friend, was like, how about we get you, uh, just go ahead and go, go, can I be Jasmine? <laughs> you can be, um, fuck, what's the goddamn tiger's name? Uh, man, the joke's dead now. I can't remember the tiger's name. Um, Raja, there you go. Um, the director, like, just go ahead and audition. I'm like, I'm not a good singer, Ken. I can't, I'm not gonna I'll audition, but I can't. And, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. And I tried to sing, I can show you the world. And after the first sentence, my, blank, my brain just blanked out. And he's like, why don't you sing anything? Anything else? I'm like, I just, I'm like, I'm sorry, can I just can't think of anything right now. He's like, how about, how about just a happy birthday? I'm like, fine, I'll fucking sing happy birthday. And it sucked, I'm, I'm not a good singer. And Ken had the most backhanded compliments. I can show you my ass. <laughs> He would say, you know, after that, he'd go, uh, uh, Ryan, uh, uh, acting great, your acting's great, uh, singing not so good, but, uh, maybe, uh, we, 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 uh, we, we can definitely do some stuff, we can definitely do some stuff. It's the same man that after my directing class, he said, if the acting thing doesn't work out for you, you'd be an amazing director. I'm like, hmm. Which it didn't work out. I fucking hate acting. Because I hate actors. As someone who is a classically trained actor. <laughs> See, but my degree was in improv. One of my degrees is in, is in uh, graphic design, the other is in improv. So, I'm like, what the fuck? I don't even use a script. Don't touch me. I will, I will make up my own script, thank you very much. This Gloomstalker is just, just, oh. Did we just melt that guy? Is he, did he? Dropped one on goblins. He didn't have, he had less than 15 hit points, but I just fucking blew him up. Good lord. My lord. Oh. Oh, my lord. Oh, 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 I most surely will miss. Maybe I didn't. You know, this other guy, um, when I used to do some of stock Shakespearean acting, uh, his name was Derek Medina. He, he was a great guy. He's like, he he was like a real life Gaston. He's like six three, six four, flowing mane of black hair, broad shouldered man, uh, and he and his voice was like, his voice actually sounded exactly like this. All the time he spoke, it was just like this. Derek Medina, yeah, I'm going to be teaching you how to sword fight here today. And he was my fight instructor, because I am certified with broadsword and rapier. And he taught me how to fight with swords. And he... <laughs> he taught me, but he was fucking terrible. Like, he'd always forget the, the choreography all the time. So he'd be like, all right, uh, yeah, so we're going to be... We're, you're going you're gonna to go ahead and do like a six... Six, come around to a four, and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna glee sod that, and then we're gonna do a three, a three. Uh, I'm gonna duck and roll, and come into a four again. Yes, I can fight with sword. I'm certified with broadsword and rapier, and it, we would all he we do the choreography. You run the choreography at like 50, 60 percent before the scene. And you do the scene, and every time he'd give me this look like oh oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> that, oh, that, that's, that's the noise he would make. And, <laughs> and like in the middle of the scene, I'm like, four, four, Derek, it's a four. Oh, oh. <laughs> he was just always fucking wild. I never knew if I was going to get my head fucking taken off in the middle of, of the Scottish play because he was heaving and grieving with that fucking thing. Oh yeah, waking, she's fucking dead. I am not a ranger. Yeah, you gotta play with it's just playing with the second with the pokey thing. It, you know that if I if I couldn't become a, a a voice actor, I would love to become a um 
like a fight choreographer. That would be really fun. It'd even just be cool to do like... Like, could you imagine just be, being like an extra in Lord of the Rings, like a Rider of Rohan? That'd be awesome. Now let's kill this guy. Before he has a chance to like, get online. Nope, don't want any of that. Is all this going to do that? I'm just going to waste all my actions getting down there. Uh. It better be good. I've with so many of these goddamn videos. I can tell you a lot about birds, but like, why? <laughs> oh, don't feel that way, little tats. I, I've got like 200 plus hours on one save. I don't even... What am I total save played on this game? One save has 200 hours, but we have... 400 hours on this game, so... You say bad, I say I don't have a life, so... <laughs> this is my life. Um... Coming to VCR, but like, why? I do have very many skills. I'm one of those people that like, if I have a cur cursory interest in it, I have to become like good at it. I have to learn every little thing about it. I, I only have like one main one. I have a couple other ones, but they're really not even, they're not even further, they're not even further past this point. Even. This is dumb. I'm just gonna come over here and take their range away. It's the best way to do it. This is not interrupted, dude. You're making this path interrupted. Don't make this a fucking thing. Covered. Oh yeah, blocked by that rail, of course, of all things. Oh yeah, baby. Put it. <laughs> Don't shoot me. Mm. <laughs> oh. Where's this other one at? Okay, it's down there. Disadvantage. Yeah. Another loyal devil team. Okay, that, that's done. With. Got that guy done. What are you playing it on, Tats? There's no path that's been interrupted by the smallest little thing. PS5, okay. Yeah, I've not played it on a PS5. Oh, come fucking on my ass. Don't do it. it, it yeah, because I, I'm getting a lot of bullshit path interrupted crap. It was just something. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's good, actually. Well, we stopped because we were, we were dealing with some shenanigans. Because the whole thing aggroed. I mean, oh, yeah. These guys are... Good. Can you please hit her? Thank you. There it is. We cleared the camp. Yeah, Lazel's a monk. Did we kill that other guy so hard his body exploded? It's not there. Ah, there's Crusher. Give me your juicy ring, you fuck. Giselle, can you not be like this right now? Not in front of, not in front of the other guys here. A 
Just in the nick of time. Is that, is that, what that? Red are healing you. Nice. Dude, monks do so much damage. The open hand monk, I think, probably does the most damage. Game? I don't know. You know, share. Okay, so here's a little fact if you didn't know about this. Amongst my other many skills, it's history as well. Um. So auto-tune was used in the music industry since, like, the 50s and 60s. It was always used to small degrees, though. Um, it was a program that was created ages ago, um, and it was used prevalently digitally in the 70s and 80s a lot. But, like, we're talking small percentages, 2 or 3%. Share with the song, um, whatever, the, love after love, that song, um... That's the first usage of auto-tune in pop culture, for the most part, in, in, in the industry period, where auto-tune's percentage was cranked up to, like, in that song, it's like something like 80% auto-tune. Um, so, that, she started that whole trend. 20 years old? Rachel, that song is 30 years old. I think it came out in 97, 94, 92, 2000, nothing. Dude, I fucking love Usher. I think we're all good now, finally. You can turn back time. We guess Yankee yesterday was monks and had to do a fight like five times. Yeah, see, the monks fuck you up. Monks doth not mess around. Well, I by Cher came out in 1998, so 35 years ago. Yeah. Like 20 years, Rachel? Mmm. Underdark is next. Yes, finally. Oh, god damn it. Another one? Can we just fucking kill this thing, please? <sighs> You're blocking the way. Lizelle for lighting that whole goddamn thing on fire. Oh, stop it. Maggots will be done. With pleasure. Okay, uh, so yeah, what did you say? You said... Oh my god, that shawarma was ridiculous. Who would have thunk that you could get a shawarma in Oklahoma? Would never have thought that. adventure god we we've cleaned up guys this this has been a this has been one of the best halls to act one i've ever had I've got a long road ahead. so i think we go back and do the long rest we'll go send the tieflings on their way uh halson will try to fuck me <clears throat> bezel and i will rub our noses to against each other in a, in a in a, in a gesture of osmosis. Which is the transference of water cells. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, we agree Underdark is next, right? Or, or do, is there a reason to go to the mountain pass first? What do you mean? You should let Astarian feed more. There is an easy druid at the, uh, at the gate at the grove. I don't really want to let him eat a druid. What, what, what's, how's the feed thing work? Uh, feed thing? Suck the blood from a living creature to regain its hit points. The target takes you to aid piercing damage, but not if it's sleeping or if you are hiding. If the target is humanoid, you become happy and the target becomes bloodless. 
Zarian's vampiric hunger has been temporarily sated. Plus one to Ooh! Going to Babylon wants me to go to fucking Mountain Pass first? You're wild, dude. Couldn't I just have him suck the blood of someone in my camp? No, I've, I've never really used Asterion. I've already killed the sleeping guy in the blood. Snacks this out have been a great use for it. Moving. Yeah. But if... I just have that one character that sits here. It, that, that's not a permanent thing, right? It's just until long rest. Snack on Will. Now I got my little... Where's that little... Creature of the Night? Oh, there. Right here. Oh, God. Gale's over here like, Oh, God. Uh, my chlamydia is acting up. You got something for me? Like, oh, man, you calm the fuck down. Oh, puppy's sleeping. That's a sleepy puppy back there. Do we need this? I think we get rid of this one, right? No. I'm already... Yeah. Have you not seen my puppy? The, the emoji you just used, Tats? That's my puppy. Some powerful magic or it may become volatile. Gale's got fucking... Gale's got the goddamn hiv, man. He's over here like... Argh! Thank you. Oh, I didn't know it was tattoo glue. Glow. Glowed. You gotta get on prep. You gotta get on prep. You're gonna be doing like that shit, Gale. It is a strange experience. Each time a new... I can't... Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. Somehow the second artifact hasn't had the effect of the first. Somewhat relieved the discomfort. Oh, I was talking about Gale Tats. Hasn't quite... <laughs> I was talking about I was talking about I was talking about I was talking about Gale. I had no idea about prep and how prep works. That shit's amazing. You do plenty for me, more than you realize. <clears throat> Merely drizzles. I'm not so. Thank you. For those that don't know what prep is, it is either blocking the reception of HIV or blocking the transmission of HIV, depending on which one you've got. Uh, what am I doing? I am doing a long rest. My friend who recently, not recently, he just got married, but who came out a handful of years ago. <laughs> he was like, he, he took Robin out to dinner and goes, guys, I got something to tell you. I'm, uh, I'm gay. We're like, okay, what do you want? What do you want? Where do you want to go? To, where do you want to get food? <laughs> like, we, like, man, we know it's, it's no big deal. <laughs> um, but he was all up on grinder. Oh my God, dude. It's so much cooler. It's so much. It's so much more like transactional and fast. I gotta like lance through two to three weeks of like conversational bullshit. Top, bottom, verse. Okay, the bottom. Uh, what ha, size? Okay, cool. Clean? Yeah. Where? Here. Done. I'm. Oh, I'm like, I, I, he showed me. I'm like, dude, that's like you guys said five things back and forth. That's awesome. Like, you just get to go. It's up for discussion. God. You know. I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. You got an and award for this. Now that I'm here. Let alone, not, not, not just a hero. I hate it. This is awful. Dude, okay, so, uh, at the gym. I, I hate it. I hate it. My, uh, our representatives of the LGBTQ community have left the gym. They're like, it, they moved, so they had to they had to leave the gym. But my one friend Greg, who's so fucking cool, um, also bald, uh, he was up on Grinder just just blowing through hood rats, and he got just a piper of a dick pic, just a piper of a dick pic. And I'm like, oh, Jesus! And it it was it was literally like 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 a like an arm, 
and I had a vein running from like the top of like like right at the navel down through over the shaft to the fucking tip. Um, baby arm holding an apple is definitely definitely the best descriptor. Um, I'm like, oh, holy shit! And I call my other friend over. I'm like, Charbel, come look at this. I know he's probably gonna be upset at this. I'm definitely not. So he looks at it. He, uh, I'm like, here, look at this, Charbel, handing him the phone. And he's like, he's got this big smile on his face. He's like, what are we looking at, guys? Is this gonna be like a funny video? And he's like, that's why you, why you show that to me? I'm like, it's big dick, right? <laughs> Oh man, nothing gets me nothing gets me fucking laugh, laughing hard on that kind of shit. Just oh, it just jolted. Enjoy myself. There's a worm in my No, brain. don't worry about allergic How reactions. You came into the right time of the conversation. Enjoy the dick pic combo we're just jumping like into. Vinegar. That means I have to survive tonight and this party. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? Like, it's so much more fun. Like, your friends are, like, talking to someone on, like, a dating app. And you get their phone. And they're like, oh, let me text him for you. And you're like, oh, and you're having fun. Can't do it with, with Saul. Like, gay community is way faster about things, you know? Like, bam, 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 bam. Like, did you just had, like, six exchanges and you guys are, you guys are DTF. You know, I have been told I sound like fighting cowboy, and that's the biggest fucking highest praise because I love that guy. I watch so many of his videos for any time I play a From Software game. Yeah, straight to the point. It's like that. Meanwhile, like I said, I got to like lance back and forth with three weeks of bullshit banter just to find out that they don't look like their pictures and they fucking suck. Not that bitter. <laughs> Sonic the foot long coney. <laughs> Not at all. I was hoping for companionship. And, well, maybe a little dare. Figuratively speaking. And not with you, just to be clear. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> Ugh, no. I'm in my Hobbit era. Anyway, I, don't let me keep I've been in my I'm Jedi sure cave else for years. I don't know. Sniff around. I don't know. I, last time I went on a hinge date, she did not look like her pictures. It was going really well, but I was also like, mm, I'm starting to get not good vibes from this. And soon, when you rest, I will come. Yo, same. Um, and when I as soon as, as soon as I showed up, Dave and Buster's is like my go-to like first time uh, date place. It's a good place to be fun and competitive, and drink a little bit, mm -hmm, have fun. We're not gonna actually talk to him, all right? Um no. Let them have fun. I'll be ruining it come and go on now. Don't wait. As soon as I showed up, she did me. not look we'll discuss your anything like her pictures. Tomorrow. And I was like, Alright, there's a two hour time limit on this date. I'm gonna see how this goes for two hours. It's gonna, gonna have to walk away after that. And it did not go very well. Man, that was just a shit show of a date. Uh it wasn't terrible, but it was it was it wasn't terrible in that like it was a bad date. I felt uncomfortable. I felt unsafe. All those things. It was just not good. I was like, no, this person, we're not jiving. Not hitting it off. She seems like just, she seems like she'd be like an annoying friend in a friend group that I just kind of tolerate by like other people in the friend group. But does anyone recognize you? No, people don't recognize me. No, she doesn't live in Glendale. She lives in Alabama. <laughs> Now, the other things we could do besides talking, like bare form butt fucking. Later, perhaps. Don't worry about me. It was basically the Wizard of Oz, the Witch from Wizard of Oz. She's uh, first generation Russian, which is fine. Creation. I fucking love Slavic it's people. Just what I need um, but she went from being like this in her pictures to showing up and to be like, no. I'm like oh, yourself. why was she hunched over? Seek out some wine before it runs dry. I'm not Mark Plyer. I'm not, I'm not over here deep throating my boom mic. Oh, 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 oh. 
really bad Tinder date too. We went roller skating for the first time, second date and third date. When she suggested it again, I told her I wasn't interested. Wait, just, just a bunch of rollerblading? That feels, you, were you being set up? <laughs> yeah, that's weird. I do hope you have partaken of something bracing. This may well take us all night. Let's have it happen. Why, your name? That ballad was but a crude oh. preview. I thought we were going to fucking swap eyes. Crowning jewel, your nom de guerre. Something iconic, but not too much of a mouthful. We don't want to exclude the common folk after all. Ooh, what about Grove Keeper, Goblin's Bane? Rapture all. Hey, you, uh, bear fucker. Do you need assistance? <laughs> I don't know. Do, do we ask him if he has something in mind? Or we go Goblin's Bane, Grove Keeper? What's a good one here, guys? What do you, what do you think? Oh, Super Troopers too. He dislikes three? Okay. He doesn't like Grove Keeper. I like Grove Keeper. What? Grandma's boy from movie night a while back. He's not oh, fuck yeah, I've seen Grandma's boy. How does he see me? Fucking rage. What what's rage mean? You know, like the, the seagulls and shit. Oh! Oh, but by all means. Rage on. Itchy's back there, bud. You know what? Let's see what he has. Far too much. This is the very problem. If you could set aside your... Not to belittle your achievements to date, of course, but besting a dragon, a giant, a god, perhaps? Hmm. I must deliberate. Go. Enjoy. Okay, well, fine. Daniel's turn nuggets. All right, I think we're good here. Would you look at this? It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. And with good potations, too. Oh, pot potent potables. Oh, oh, what if I do number three? Can I have, can I, d does a horn count as an additional uh, a party in a threesome? So it wouldn't be a three, it'd be like a four. But, like, the Zelda doesn't have a nose. Does that bring me down to, like, a three and a half sum? Can I... Can there be coitus across multiple parties? How do I coital... Expand my coital horizons? Oh, I think you know what I'm talking about, Dark. Because Lazelle was already like, I'm going to come on you when you're sleeping. And Karlak is over here like, I've drummed... Uh, I can say this. Oh, so how do I do that? Hey man, slump buster is always good fire guy. Sometimes you get you. Sometimes, you gotta climb a ladder in life. You you step on a couple landmines and grenades. You, you, fuck you, Rachel. The, uh, of course, Isabel doesn't want to share. Fuck yes, I'm celebrating my freedom and our friendship and these folks' bright future. Besides, all I need now is a fire retardant lover to get lost in till sunrise. Man, I don't want to mess this up. I've already messed up enough shit in this playthrough. There's no five, Rachel. Yeah, but I... I... In the party, regardless of the side, regardless of side or approval, Zell's first important romance scene can happen. She will commend the player's martial arts and 
Which is attached to the pictures of the littering counter inside of the altar room, naked. Mission check. I just don't know if one stops the other is my point. Like, if I press this, does it stop my love thing romance with Lazelle? Another loyal devotee. And convince her, however, to kiss you, which we can do another. I don't know how, how you romance in your first playthrough. It will, it will if you commit. You can talk with some with them both, but wait for one of them. We'll have options before going to sleep to whom to see. Okay, let's see if I do this. I like you too. Oh God, you know I want that more than fucking anything. I'll come find you when the others have gone to bed. Wait up for me, all right? Same. Everyone's coming on me in my sleep, dude. Yes. Look at that fucking tail. Look at the tail on that one. So I, I think we just jumped into the, jumped into, uh, <laughs> Jesh. I believe the term, uh, the medical term is thirsty, Rachel. Oh, the Even Asterion opened up hard on me too, dude. He was like, hmm. Let's butt fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just, just sizzing. Chardonnay at me. He's like, oh. Oh. <laughs> it will decide who you continue to romance. Okay, so full rest right now is when I do it. Like, Will Gill and Miller Ramon. Okay. 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 Buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Your hand was sought by several, but there is only one night ahead. Whose company will you seek? At least for tonight. Oh, guess what you guys get to do? Press this button if you are watching on Twitch. Vote for who do we sex scene? Well, it's not Carlac because Carlac will... Keep in mind, Carlac will not be in my party permanently. I will swap Carlac off for probably the Dwegar once we get the... Uh, once we get the Dwarven Thrower in Act 3. Why is it, why, why are ellipses? What's up with the ellipses? Thank you, Ghost Ogre. Appreciate you, man. Uh, I don't know where the button to vote is. <laughs> it's somewhere on the right side of the screen, I think, Rachel. It was more romance with Karlak before this, and she said to me, did not mind sharing. Mmm. Mmm. With the 50 50 split right now, we got a 50 50 Lazelle and Carlac. Who's gonna vote on what? I'm on my phone for the chat. I don't know. Oh, Carlac just pushed ahead to 56%. I, I kind of want to do the romance here with Lazelle, but. Lazelle is a better scene. Oh. Okay, so, but 
if I choose one of these, does it completely shut off? Like if I choose Karlak, can I not sex scene Lazelle ever again? Is that is that done with? Just go to bed alone. Just fucking pump it. They don't care really? Okay, so so if I do Karlak right now, I can still do Lazelle later. Luna's over here had fucking run on a harem. Maintain your purity. Dude, it's been five years since I've had sex. I'm not over here to try to do it in the game. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to fucking abstain in the game. Okay, what was most likely yes and what was a no to? I'm confused. As far as I know you've got to commit and you can break up. After that, nothing really. I slept with both. First time started with Lazel. Second time started with Karlak. Well, did you in the same playthrough, Luna? <laughs> you abstain. You can multi-class into wizard. Oh, separate playthroughs. See, that's cheating. That's cheating. I really kind of want to see this Lazel because Karlak, we're just gonna kiss. I know we're just gonna fucking kiss because she can't. Do anything because of her fire engine machine. Yeah, you can't tell me that you can do both, but you get to two different. That's just having playthroughs. That's cheating. It's cheating. You can't do that here. You can't hook up with Shadowheart after breaking up with someone. I fire crotch. He wants a two for one special, not a not a separate order. Okay, I know Carlock's got the higher percentage, but I really want to see this Lazel scene. <laughs> no one wanted me. I killed Will and missed talking to Gail and Asterion hates me. I'm going to start with one and then start with the other and still sleep with both. Shows they don't care, in my opinion. Well, I just mean that, like, in this playthrough, I don't know if I can do that. Let's see what happens. Your heart skips a beat. Oh. What treasures might this night bestow? Oh, indeed. What might happen? Oh, my God. Look at those little fucking. Uh, it's definitely not a fan Keep of fashion. We know our bodies inside and out. Because I wanted to see what the fuck I, I... Hey, I made the choice for myself. You guys, are, you, when you guys have your own YouTube channels and Twitch channels, you can make your own decisions. Let me show you. Close your eyes. And you caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting full, full blown Vaj right there. I thought it was going to be kind of like a sexy thing. But instead, it was just like, you know, we trained for a long time, right? Take a look at my vagina. Like. Oh. Oh. Is she Dom or is she sub? Find out tonight at 9. Let's find out if I suck at being a Dom. My, how the tables turn tables. Well. Gotta be using that right now. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm going to put my ponytail up your ass. <laughs> oh. A little foot play going on. I am ready. Oh, just a well kept situation, too. Just enough down south to be good. Keep in mind, men, if you want. Her to be maintained down south, so do you. You should maintain yourself. Every like month and a half, I give it a good shellacking. I call it impeaching the president. You awake in pain. Your back, your hands. So it's like a Klingon sex party. Ache. It's time to rise. Even your tongue Jesus aches? That is chlamydia. Tiger bomb, Travis, like number three. Time for pleasure has passed. I might take more later, should my whims so carry me. Ooh. Up now, the sun yeah, soon rises. Uh, also, uh, Post-coital cuddling, 
is just as important for men as it is for women if you did not know that it is important for your emotional development and if you I deny it it will evening. not be good for you after all your efforts it was well deserved it may be some time before you're afforded another Maybe the astral situation. clap there is much to be done and i promised i would help you however i could i'm certain a cure for you can be found at moonrise towers but it's you're talking about you're talking about the the, the, the fucking burner i just hooked up with extremely perilous Though it seems you're well fuck. accustomed to navigating danger. I do not care about my stream getting nuked. It doesn't bother me, man. Nudity's nudity. It happens. It's a video game. Uh, I, it happened all over, uh, what's it called? Um, Crusader Kings 3. I don't care. Wait. There's more to get to the towers. You'll, this curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life like... not a human Shrek. He's a beautiful... Natural, he's a beautiful man druid. linger... Uh, Twisted by the curse, they become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. So it seems, though I don't know how. Oh, it's over, but you'll have to choose your approach carefully. You could go overland. You could long ago. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path. Already, I would like to. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. Maisel, do not be so impatient to move on as Halsin. As ever, the Githyanki crash remains up. Oh, then. Oh, she's heavily encumbered after that Reaction. night of rompassing. Never a dull moment. Bear D or, or Gussie? Uh, I don't know. I haven't had the Bear D yet. Well, I'll air with the Forgussy. Um, here's the, here's a question. Here's a question to the, to the men, to the boys in chat, to the alpha males. Keep a blade close. Dread like Who likes being Big Spoon? Because I fucking love it. And fucking love it. And I think there's like a, a, a conceived notion that men don't like being Big Spoon in a cuddling situation. I fucking love it. Uh, little Spoon, Little Spoon, Little Spoon. The, the one that gets cuddled. The, re the recipient of the cuddle. Not the big one. Not the one back here. The one in the front being cuddled from behind. Love it. Love it. Little Spoon the shit out of me. I don't give a fuck. Warm hot boobs on your back? Great. Fresh pair of boobs. Lightly placed. I think I, I think a lot of girls think that, that dudes don't like it. Love the fuck out of it. No one back home will ever believe this. Nothing used to have a helmet on it. A little spoon was the bomb. It is the absolute bomb. What was all that? Okay, so now we go to the Underdark, right? We've done everything else. All except is the crash. Um, I'm very scared of it. That fight doesn't seem like it's going to be a good time for me. And we have to do anti-Ethel. Oh, I have a small dick, Chris. I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about that at all. I have huge balls. But small dick. Oh, anti Ethel's hard, all right. I see. I don't. I, we're, we're, we were not going to do anti Ethel, though, until we're at least five. Noise for. Pick up yourself and you make a little, a little huh? Oh boy. Oh. 
A steadfast supporter. Oh! Little Roman ASMR. What's up, Poppy? Poppy. Go to. This. And I gotta order food. Give me one sec. Did you just burp, bud? Yeah. Yes, I did. Good burp. Son of a bitch. Oh shit. Oh shit. There's something else. How do you take care of the stone thing burrowing in the ground in the Underdark? Well, <laughs> we're gonna do that together. One sec, guys. I need to, I, I realize I had to order food real quick. I need to pee real quick too. So I'll be right back and then I'll answer your question, Chris.
back to the more important subject, what about the Warhammer Total War update? Uh, I don't care about it. That's what I was going to say. I didn't really read all of it. Someone gave me the Spark Notes. I don't... Just, I just don't really care, you know? It's just... I played so much Total War Warhammer 1, 2, and 3 that the update just... Okay, cool. Whatever. Like... I don't know. I, I, I know that kind of sounds anticlimactic, but... I spent a lot of my time... A lot of my headaches dealing with Warhammer and stuff like that across tabletop across the games across all these things and it's such a niche niche whatever the fuck you want to call it within a niche or niche Traps, and I please. just hate dealing with it I hate dealing with the gatekeepy kind of community that is the Warhammer community which sucks because it's one of my biggest passions 20 years invested into that hobby I love it um, 20 plus now at this point fuck but it just, it just gets to be exhausting having to deal with it all the time. So I'm very happy to not be covering Warhammer Ernest games, actually. Disciple. And it's kind of another reason why I'm not covering Rogue Trader. Rogue Trader, I don't think, is going to be a very successful game. Not that it's a bad game, but it's still the same system of the RPG um, after we've just had this game come out. I'm not going to read through a CRPG anymore when you've got, this is the new blueprint for a, CR, for a CRPG. If you're not in anything like this game, then it just won't be as successful. And Rogue Trader is great. It's fun. I played the, the alpha, the beta. Um, and the, they're all great versions of the game, but it's just not conducive for content and for streaming, personally. I'd play it on my own if I did play it. Another one of these blow up. Let's find out. We all know what's going to happen here. This is not a good fight. And I don't know how to come at this fight from any other angle than what we're doing here. Is there another way into the underdeck I should be, should be taking, maybe? Instead? I mean, I could just... I could just go through that front gate. Into the Mykonoi colony. It is better for them coming from below. Okay. I've except only ever come at it from this angle. Uh, animal speaking. Oh my head. Front gate is the easy way out. Why? Well, my brother and I were talking about. Uh, Hasbro pulling their bullshit of getting rid of all the people that pretty much made this game. 1,100 people were, were let loose. Let go from Wizards of the Coast. And my brother was like, yeah, they're probably doing it because after, after like a three year back to back record sales, they probably did it to increase their valuation to sell themselves. To sell to like a Microsoft or a Disney was interested in Wizards of the Coast at one point. To sell off the, the IP. Did we just use what we need? Oh, fuck. We don't have Damon in there anymore. Ugh. They probably get glut and clear everything with the zombified boulette. I don't know, guys. What, what's, what's the way to do this? What's the way to do this Watcher guy over here? Because the Watcher triggers, like, right here. I agree with you. It, it should be fucking illegal. I hate it. And the problem here is that watcher's going to be real fucking wild. What spectator? Thank you. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if there is. Maybe you can trigger it with a like a summon, like keep your party back and send a summon into there. Right, Fox? That might work. But the problem is, every turn it's live, it can summon these fucking drow back to life. Uh, 
Yeah, the spectator beholder. Yeah, maybe we just kind of push through the other portion of this. Well, they start they start charmed by it, right, Fox? You have to break them out of their charm. Or you can use... I don't think we have any Basilisk potions. Oh, we do. Oh, just one. Ugh. If you are watching on YouTube, make that switch to Twitch. Slow fall. Slow fall where? Uh... I don't remember. But what do we do? We, we break this moonstone to get out this front gate, right? I've never gone out the front front gate. Or just use a lever. Just... That opens the gate. Won't this thing just attack me? I don't, I, don't, I don't think it actually does attack me. I think I've gone through this thing and it doesn't bother me. You think it's easier than Mountain Pass? Really? I don't remember how I disabled it either. Because I remember I disabled it. Can I do it without... Yeah, exactly. Those gith ain't easy, bro. Yeah, but... I wonder if you can put a moon crystal into that. Like, I wonder if there's something in here that I've missed. You can probably read. Oh, yeah, drop that in there. Oh well. Yeah, I'll just shoot the crystal. I've just never done this. A rotten mushroom day. But Falaruve is over there. Um, and if you are on Twitch, it is 25% off subs right now, and if you donate any bits, then 10% of those that are donated are donated again by Twitch for free. So, support the channel. If you have any Prime sub you have not yet used, use it on me, my bros. Eve's Guild at the Burning. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I could go through there. But that's right on top of the, that's right on top of like the three Minotaurs right outside that, that, uh, uh area. You and me both, brother. They really didn't nerf it, did they? Oops. Your wedding is high initiative. Still alive, so that's progress. Should buy my spores, and they're everywhere. Well, those spores are. Not good. Uh, hopefully we... I might have to make a special roll here.
See if we pull this off. A slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. Uh, let's get a strength character to do this then. You too, Fire Guy. Thank you very much, man. We're about to we're about to end anyway. Um, and what we'll be doing is we'll stream again on Tuesday, maybe Thursday. Um, I want to work on a bunch of videos so I can just kind of have them out for you guys. I'll do the best healer uh, build. Is there any other builds you guys would like to see? Hey, good looking. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. Fuck this up. This is a really good weapon. <sighs> How does it do a DC 10? Cleric of Elisera can release a sword without needing an ability. Oh. Dragon Blood Fire Mage. I have a bunch of monk ones. Uh, I could do like a cast. Um, I thought about doing just a straight up caster build. Like, 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 hey, this is just a pure wizard. And like, like, like a pure spell caster. And just do something like one wizard. I had, I had this in my brain the other day. I think it was like one wizard couple levels into land druid and a couple levels into sorcerer. Land druid gives you access to a lot of the shape-shifting capabilities which, so you can access portions of the game you wouldn't otherwise have access to. And land druid is the spellcaster version. Um, having those points in wizard unlocks the spell slots. But I think when you, when you split across wizard sorcerer and loyal druid like that team. you have a lot of spell casting abilities that are kind of an issue it feels like you're warring with 10 people for the blade with another hard yank the weapon slips free it's unfortunately not a unique look though like the, the long sword plus one looks just like it but who uses it I don't know who uses it to be honest. Yep, Dex based sword. It is my. It's uh, I use it on my. Uh, what's it called? Forever. On my ranger. Just give it to him. I thought you could still. Nope. It is a good weapon. Oh, which reminds me. Go to camp. Keep your distance, darling. Watch your back. I hear you making them little itchies over there, bub. Where are you, Sprinkle Sprite? Uh, Hollow Ghost in Honor Mode, it is rare. Which doesn't do anything aside from the cost. I'd like to get the Gloves of Flinging. Probably won't be able to do that today, but I well, that, think that's the first thing we'll do on... Um... Aha. He's happy. He's happy. He's so happy. I have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. Uh, it will work for Monk. Very well. Because if they've got proficiency in it, so she has, as a gift, has proficiency in it, so it's a Monk weapon. 
Oh, you just did for the first time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fun experience, isn't it? So the Myconoid colony starts over here? Or is this the... Yeah, I've always approached this from the other angle. This is tripping me out. Need a boot of seeing everything, brother. I guess we could start this conversation. I'm freaking out. I, I don't want to have a bad situation and go down here. Tenusks, known to cause confusion. Best not to get too close. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why him? What in the nine hell? They're coming. They're coming. This might be some devil's ploy. Don't listen to it. They're coming. I'm coming, all right. I am a comer. <laughs> Oh, you know what else is on Netflix? Which is a really great show. Good. 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 Oh. Oh, I'll rage you all right. It's getting worse and worse. I'm sorry. Um, L.A. Confidential. That movie is so good. I didn't know that happened. Help me. I'm freaking out now. Now I'm freaking out. That thing's gonna pop up and butt fuck me, isn't it? I, f I forgot that that happened right here. Oh, shit. Well, I can't do shit. Yep. You better get the fuck away from that thing over there. We do that. What kind of hexing should we do on this bad boy? What is resistant? Does not have one. It's just territorial. But this is kind of nice to fight this thing here. Just have acid resistance. So why strength hex? I just don't. I don't want it to bulldoze me off. That's not that hard. It is that hard though. It's definitely that fucking hard. I want to not be on that ledge like that. We'll be over here. Maybe let's do some different damage first. Okay, so we, we do have a little bit of rounds here we can do. Let's get up close and personal and just do some, some melee damage. Turn on that uh, sneak attack. Salt counts as bludgeoning, so he's resistant to it. Yeah, I. Okay, and prone, and prone. That's a good, that's good. I think being in the center here, because he'll do a charge attack that knocks me back from what I remember. But I think being in the center here is better than trying to... Well, maybe... No, I'll stack up right here on this stalagmite. Over here. Stalagmite? Stalagmite. Stalagmites from the ground, stalagmites from the ceiling. Swift and lethal. Put him up. You know what? I think kind of rather than throwing my spear... Eighty percent with advantage, and we still failed. Soldier. 
I think we need the extra damage here and the extra bonus actions and shit, so. I won't give in. I guess it's just a better play. Should have gone with the hex first. Should have gone with the Fucking hex first. Wisdom save. What was this wisdom? It's fucking shit anyway. Um, we'll hex strength. Just for the disadvantages on strength checks. Which I think prone is a... Prone or stagger is a... I don't know if it's... Prone or stagger is a strength check. Should be okay over here. I'm gonna put maybe a uh, can. All right, well, let's just see how this next turn goes. I'm a little scared. Hey, Zell, be careful. Yeah, see, be careful. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, what? What just happened? Why can't we... If you gain five charges, they are consumed the next time you deal damage. And you deal initial... Okay, 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 okay. Now we're going to do some damage. Okay, um... Sarduk, what's up, man? Sardukur. Is prone? Do we know what kind of save a prone is? Yeah, Judas Shot Prone's gonna happen here. Hopefully we're gonna get it to go off. Good. I mean, this damage is just pitiful, but... Can't do much else. Actually, might be good here is an ice arrow. Just because it it could slow it down. Flaring a little bit of sneak attack damage. No, probably entangling would have been a better shot right there. Um. That's a spell slot, you know. Yes, hollow ghost. That's usually happening because because you're probably using the spell out of combat, or you're using it out of combat. I, that's like the big thing that triggers that that problem is using it out of combat. You try to use the returning pike while in combat, but don't use it to initiate a combat. Is what I'm saying. That's a good amount of dammy dams. Come on, come stay idle. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what we can do. Okay, cool. Good, 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 good. Time to strike. Why'd I do that? I just didn't want to fucking. I didn't want to risk it. I'm going to kill that thing completely. Never mind. Hey! When an enemy damages the wearer, the gains wrath. Ooh. Is that better on Lazel? Damage with melee weapons. Is, is a fist considered a melee weapon? I think it's considered unarmed. Yeah. We'll put it on... Carlax, so she actually has some armor. I 
I don't... It, there are... It, the term melee weapon is kind of bugged in the game in that some things seem to affect bro that say melee weapon and some don't. So it's hard for me to tell. Okay, so I think, if anything, this is a great place to end. So we will save here. And we will pick this up again on Tuesday. So let's go ahead and do a raid. We're going to snooze that ad. Guys, if you are watching on Twitch, or on YouTube, make the switch to Twitch, my bros. And as we head out here, if you do have a, um, a Prime sub you've not yet used, go ahead and use it on me. All that kind of fun action. We're at 8,800 followers, almost at 9,000. Can we get 10K by the end of the year? When MC answers you later, you're going to try to be able to talk. I just saw this most in carrot and sell at the beginning of Act 2, so Color Quest is locked as well. Uh, try try a long rest, Sard. That might help it. Oh, dude, we're, we're rating Bodhi and Kai. Bodhi and Kai are so fucking funny. I went to... We went to the same college together, and they did... They are twins that do improv. They have the fucking gift. They're so fucking fun. They're so fun. All right, guys, get this raid going here. Thank you so much for watching here today. Thank you so much for the donations from the bits, from the uh, prime subs, for the gifted subs, for the actual subs, like the ones that are like not prime subs. Thank you so, so, so much, my bros. So again, we will be back on Tuesday with more of this stream. We'll probably jump in again on Thursday. And what I'm thinking is the week in between Christmas and New Year, I will not stream. I will not make videos. I'll just stream all week. I think that might be a little bit more fun. It's less work for me. I can just kind of jump on, have fun with you bros, and we can push through this as far as we can. Luna, stop streaming when I'm streaming so I can raid you again. It's not a euphemism. All right, guys. Let's get this raid going. I'm going to eat some food, but thank you so much for watching today. Have a good one. Take care. Wash your hands. Stay safe. And let's raid Bodhi and Kai because they're fucking hilarious. You will love these guys. They're so fucking fun. Five, four, three, two, and one. If you're watching on YouTube,